Warning! Spoilers ahead for Persona 5. If you have not played it, I highly, highly recommend you do so. Of course, maybe this spoiler-filled discussion will convince you to check it out. Or, maybe it'll do the opposite. Either way, from this point forward, Persona 5 spoilers will be discussed. Okay. Cool. Did that scare people off? I mean, you're here, so you made the choice to listen. Anyway, let's start the show. And then, I mean, there's Soda Shack. I still have three shack cans. Shack Soda? Yeah, shack no, it's soda. called Soda Shack. Soda Shack. See, everyone calls it Shack Soda, but on the can, it's Soda and then Shack. Wasn't his, like, original flavor peach or some shit? Like, there's... he didn't go with classic cola. Yeah. He went with, like, root beer flu. The three I have in the fridge right now that i've been saving ever since day <laughs> sure yeah i honestly i don't think i'll ever open them i just want to keep them forever i think what you, you <laughs> that's until... that's an ebay product to make some crazy cash on yeah you know how much that szechuan sauce was worth <laughs> and he has like a gallon of it he, he has, can like he has a gallon now yeah he has all the power he has all the power in the world <laughs> um but then they release like five of those because mm-hmm. i thought it said in the note they had made five gallons, and then they they said, oh, we're eventually going to start selling it at locations oh. anyway. But for... The first, like, however, like year or less. Yeah. You're gonna... for, for the next year or less, he's going to be one of five people he's... to hold the power. <laughs> he, he's going to be the Charlie Bucket yeah, of he, Szechuan sauce. He can cash in on his oh, fandom's, like... Absolutely. Like, craziness. That's true. He can... Oh, God. No, I've seen the craziness. I tried to go to the Rick Mobile last weekend in mm-hmm. Anaheim. That was a huge mistake. Because it was like a huge line that went across the building, out the block, down the street, across the intersection, and then over a bridge. And That's trouble. That's troubling. <laughs> I wish I was exaggerating, but there's a lot of people. No, I believe you. A lot, I of, <laughs> lot of strollers. A lot of strollers. strollers. A lot of... Honey, honey, we're going to get to meet... Going to meet you, Rick. Huh? Huh? How about that? I just now... I don't know why it took me so long. I've just now thought Rick doesn't have any kind of official status mm-hmm. as a scientist. Like he doesn't have a degree. No, he's just Rick. Yeah. Well, he, he's like a intergalactic entity. Right. Yeah. And so, I mean, at that point, I don't think it matters. That's true. <laughs> anymore. That's true. Uh, oh, also, I haven't seen the new episode yet, so like, it's oh, not, yeah. Well. Yeah. Me either. So give me, give me, God. like, I'll probably watch it like today or tomorrow. So. It's fun to know that I know one thing more than you today. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So speaking of which, speaking <laughs> of things that I know more, uh-huh. uh huh. You get to talk about Persona. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. I have forced all of you uh-huh. <laughs> to go through it. That's correct. That's uh, right. So I can talk about Persona in full spoiler discussions, and I would just like to start off saying that Kawakami is best girl. So there's uh, no... Okay. There's nothing. Okay, no. The podcast's over. Well, thanks <laughs> for joining us, everyone. Next month. Yeah. I also wrote predictions. I showed these. <clears throat> okay. Of what I think you guys' as best girls would be. Oh, All I right. pulled out. Yeah. Paper. He pulled out a piece of paper. He's... Okay. Well, that way you know I'm not, like, just pulling it out of my ass. Like, right. Oh, this is... This is... You're pulling out like, of Like, literally out of your pocket. pulling out of my pocket. But, yeah. Not. It's not my ass pocket, so it's not even. I'm glad we could have swayed anyone's concerns. Okay, so right. do you want to do you want to predict Nyx? Uh, oh, wow, Nyx was the first one I opened. Okay, I'd say that Nyx uh, is with the girl who has the modeling career. That girl. Oh, Anne. Yeah. Wow, I'm you very, are wrong. I'm very. <laughs> bad. Okay. I thought you knew me. <laughs> <laughs> why? Hang on. Why? I want to know why you think. Right. Um, you know, because she's a, she's a classic, you know, nice girl who, uh, just, I don't know, you seem, seem like the, a simple, a simple relationship. It's, it's not even complicated. <laughs> oh, she's, she's the nice girl from my, I don't, I don't know. What, what, what did you write on that piece I of I wrote paper? Haru. Uh, Haru's, uh, the daughter of the, of the millionaire, of the Big Bang Burger. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. guy. Okay. Yes, she's the one with the axe and the gun scales and wears the cool like French 
like uh, oh, yes, Musketeer's yes. outfit. Yes. So, Haru is what I predicted. Okay. I wrote Haru. Oh, yeah. saying, You're Haru. Uh, who was, who who was, was closer? Who Come was on. Clo- who was, yeah. Um, okay, not on. Um, it's not, it's not, it's not Anne. Uh, no, it's on. They on. It? No, but yeah, Anne's fine. Yeah. No, it's not her. I actually don't like her. I like. Her. Oh. I actually like her the least. Really, okay. out of everyone. Well, I mean, what about what about uh, reporter? Uh, the only person I always forget her name. Um, the Devil Arcana. Devil Arcana. Uh, well, actually, we didn't. You didn't go. Th- well, actually, we didn't go through. Yeah, we didn't go through her story too much. I guess it wasn't interesting. But she like her thing was fine uh, for most of the part. But it was one of those things of I find everyone else a little bit more interesting. Yeah. So I'm gonna allot my time. Mm-hmm. To those yeah. plus but the one thing i did like about her is i can totally see myself being that in the future yeah just I, an alcoholic and mm-hmm. <laughs> and Crush. a, uh, Crush human. a I'm sorry. reporter who's super late and won't write like what they're supposed to be writing mm-hmm. yeah yeah no you're you're right that uh i mean there isn't exactly any bad character there isn't like stinkers. oh that was something i was gonna get into later was like i don't think there's a bad one i don't think there's a stinker yeah, so, in like yeah. this game I, I as wanna... much as there was in like p3 and p4 yeah i don't want to mislead and say i didn't like that it's just like compared to everyone else mm-hmm. i think i liked her the least i mean she had a great story her whole thing with Who, the um, devil or kind of no uh on oh on oh no her good. story's great her her yeah. development as a person is really really good again it's the whole thing of like comparing and then like, yeah it's just not your time yeah. man Har- <laughs> <laughs> so who, who did you pick yeah who'd you pick chris chris's haru chris's haru was closer um i'm gonna i will have to go with um i always felt clo- i i like the most uh makoto for story. queens okay so you're a queen's guard yeah you're part of the queen's guard that and, and takami i'm kind of See, split ian's eyes just widen up <laughs> i'm kind of split between makoto and takami that's what that's what fans of makoto call themselves so, because what? her arcana is queen <laughs> oh okay queen's so guard. queen's guard okay so okay. yeah uh, final answer makoto makoto okay so makoto is my second yeah makoto is so close like nick was there the night that i spent about four hours like deciding on either romancing Makoto or going with Kawakami. Kawakami being the teacher. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah man. Okay, I'll, ta- I'll defend. Oh, <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, you like her? Wait, wait, wait. First, we got to find out Ian's. Right. Okay. Um, well, I want to hear what you thought about me, what you thought my, my, my one was. What do, you, what do you think Ian's is? Okay, so I predict Ian now? Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Hmm. Get a good look at you. <laughs> Get a look at who he is. Takemi. Who Takemi? I chose Futaba. Oh! I think it's Futaba, but I could be totally wrong. So, listeners, uh, get ready for this a lot, because I'm terrible with names. That's fine. I, I chose a uh, sullen girl with short black hair. Sullen uh, girl with short black hair. Uh... The, the one with, like, kind of a, a, a bob black haircut, who looks, uh... What's she wearing? She wears a lot of black, and she's, uh, there's a lot of scenes of her in that kind of, uh, CD bar. Uh, CD bar. See, see her Oh my god, her that's head. a reporter. Her! <laughs> I think she's great. She's great. We wow. just, like, we just, like, talked about how she was a week. Wow, we're both out. We don't know each other at all. No, 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 no. It's amazing. You know? We wasted all these years. Okay, yeah, <laughs> why? Looks... And did you also have that moment she looks where you broken like and yeah. terrible? And I'm like, but then how like... do you not like Kawakami, man? <laughs> you just Kawakami. Kawakami is the most real broken. Like I felt, I don't know. I felt like this is no. This, this how is how it starts. This is this is my writerly romance idea of what a broken life will be like. Oh, this will okay. be this will be a lot of neon lights and cocktails. Yeah. Yeah. You want the romanticized version I, of being broken. Yeah, I don't and want Kawakami's the real Kawakami like... is, is a is a harrowingly real scene in a David Lynch film right between <laughs> two horrible moments. Where where it's just like a dwarf talking backwards and then a giraffe screaming and then there's just a, a stark moment of domestic abuse that has yeah, no jokes a in it. Teacher I was yeah. damn I was so confident in my answer too. I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's great. She's really No, like, she's good. She's definitely good. Um yeah. like I said, I don't think there's anyone who's bad like no, in no. this. And that's like 
I think they did it finally, where yeah. every every character felt very is interesting. Oh, there's so there's so much more real than I think some of the other games. Yeah. Um, and that was something I was going to get into later. Uh, by the way, welcome to the Persona Five. Oh yeah. Spoiler cast. Yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna do. I'm gonna record like an intro and music. Oh, okay. And put music and shit. Right. Yeah. Um. So they already know. Yeah. So we don't even have to dance around right. with, like spoilers or anything. Just yeah. along. Dude, uh, you can pick anybody and not be wrong. Like, that's yeah. how it is with E5. Any... I really like the cast of characters. I mean, and their story, mm-hmm. like you said, the storylines. They're so real. They feel so... Kawakami's, to me, feels like the realist, in my opinion. <laughs> and I think that's why I liked it so much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, I think, I don't know if I've ever said it on the podcast before. I've never said it on my other YouTube channel. I'm a broken man who likes broken women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's <laughs> and right. And Kawakami is just... God, it's... I What did it for me? Well, first of all, it's like... It's the way you meet her. The yeah. way you start that, um, that social link is by far the best, in my mm-hmm. opinion. I thought it was so fucking good. Like, it's just teenagers <laughs> flying, finding a flyer in, uh, and it's like maid service. With other services, yeah, and then Ryuji's like, yeah, there's other services. What? Also, like, look at me, the girls. <laughs> oh, the girls. <laughs> and he and he acts just like, just uh, like a kid, like a kid, an actual like, high school student. Yeah, like yeah. like ooh, sex, like scandal, scandalous. Uh, like with well, like dancing around the words because they're so forbidden to yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Mishima, like, overhears him. Mishima being the student who runs, uh, the Phantom Thieves website, Blue okay. Hair. Yes, yes. Um, he's the one who's abused on the volleyball team. Yeah. Um. Kamoshida. Well, hang on, we'll get to, we'll get to villains. Um, uh, yeah. and, like, just, and he's like, oh, I want to do it for research. Mm-hmm. And all your options, all your dialogue options, and even Ryuji's on the same page is, you're so full of shit. <laughs> like, you're so, you're such a lot, why can't you just say it? We're, Ryuji's over here, like, admitting that he's a sleazeball, so, yeah. like, why can't you just... Admit you want some good Like, no, yeah. no, I want, we need to find out if they're lying about right. services. Yeah was a line. I just replayed that scene not too long ago. That's why. So, um, <laughs> and you're in the room. They they get this like shady. They get one of those one person Japanese apartments where mm-hmm. it's so small and like you can tell just by three of them standing there, their heads are like almost touching the yeah. roof. Yeah. Uh, there's a balcony though, mm-hmm. and then uh, they're like, okay. Uh, you call in the main character mm-hmm. and I of course went being cool guy okay yeah and then you call and then they both are alright we're gonna wait shit I have to use the bathroom he uses the bathroom and then time passes and like yeah I'm gonna cower out and then they hide in the balcony as your character is like face back towards the maid <laughs> she comes in and she's like ah I'll help you with cleaning and services and all that mm-hmm. and then she goes aren't you oh and at this point you don't know who it is it's just a maid like yeah, at this yeah, point yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you can pretend to act like you're you're older and she's like why don't i come back when you've matured a bit for the other services oh oh okay and then ryuji goes what like he, he was like really bummed out they go holy shit who, who's the fuck is on the balcony is someone out there and she turns around notices who you are right and then she's like Oh, and then you recognize her. It's your fucking teacher. It's your Becky. It's oh Becky. Yeah, because she's called Becky when she's yeah. a maid. There's, you ever seen those shirts? Kawakami in the streets. Becky in the sheets. <laughs> it's fucking perfect. Dude. And you're like, holy shit! And, and you make this pact of not telling anyone. Right. And dude, just every mm-hmm. every interaction with her is the best dialogue choices. I've ever seen. Absolutely. Because you can be just fine or like a kind of a regular guy Mm. uh, who's sympathy, who is very sympathetic towards your situation. Or you can just be a total shitbag, dude. (laughs) Yeah. You can be the worst (laughs) scumbag in the world. Like you pick up the phone, woman, get over here and shave me. Like that, (laughs) (laughs) that that level of like just sleazeball. Oh my God, it's so bad. It's, it's, 
yeah, but yeah. it's fucking a, it's good for a laugh when you see it but you never choose it like, right yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just oh my god this conversation can go so so fast. dark so fast <laughs> yeah oh and oh just every, every interact and it was that moment where she's done cleaning the first time and then she just falls on your bed like a sack of shit mm-hmm. and like she's in that she her model is like one arm over the edge one leg and just one eye, like ah, and then she's just whining mm-hmm. about her day the entire day. And I went, "That's so fucking real, man. Yeah, man. That's to putting on a face for work and just coming home and then and like, falling apart, yeah. <laughs> falling." And then you find, and then she lies. To, you find out she's lying to you to get more money, mm-hmm. but the reason she does this is because uh, she find you find out later that she was tutoring a student or she was giving one-on-one time Mm -hmm. um and at one point he he came from like not a great home apparently they don't say straight up what it is but all they say is like their situation rough if if they did i want to say it was like abuse but i'm not sure i don't think that's true um and she and he's coming home to, he's like working two jobs or some shit. Yeah. He's coming home to study with Kawakami to like get his grades back up. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he gets into a car accident and dies. And and she feels so personally responsible. responsible for that. There's no and I get that. I totally understand as like the teacher to student mentality that especially if it's a one on one you're giving one on one lessons and he's on the way to your fucking yeah. place to learn. Um, mm-hmm. like, holy shit. And then the parents of that student, like, uh, use that to essentially blackmail her. Not really blackmail her. It's more of just abuse the situation that she's in, mm-hmm. um, to elicit money. From but her. so much of the story of Persona 5 seems to be about, like, taking responsibility yes. for others. Yes. And then having horrible effects from being a good person yeah yeah, yeah. and that and that's what you're saving you're saving the people who are still doing good Mm -hmm. despite this world of people despite this world that punishes you right for being good if you're not a selfish dick bag you're not winning right 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 right. um quote unquote but like fuck dude cow guys is so good (laughs) Yeah. And just the way she like plus plus her like bonus in the game because every social link has a bonus is by far the best bonus you can get in a persona game mm-hmm. which is time yeah you get bonus you, time you get more time to do stuff and like yeah. which that's the most rare commodity in yeah. persona and definitely the most important fuck she's so good she's so good full package huh oh she's a woman <laughs> sure. oh, plus, right. plus, plus that line. The fucking oh, the way you the way you get into the relationship with her is the fucking best, because she 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 it go you start like hitting on her right like towards the end, hey we should go out or something like that, and she goes you're you're a student I'm a teacher and then the line you say in order to further romance is uh, I'm a man you're a woman and your character gets up and she goes whoa what the fuck no 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 no! no. i'm gonna i gotta i gotta think about this 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 and then she goes home and thinks yeah and then she's like we teach her i'm a teacher and you're a student and he's like that's the best part (laughs) yeah he turns into batman and he goes with christian bale yeah in his head and like oh my god and she goes and then you call her like yeah i think we can i think we can work this out you know Oh my god! Oh, plus in like, uh, there's that line on Valentine's Day where she's like, "This time you service me," and you go, "Ah!" And like she spent a nice romantic evening with her. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so good. Based on based on your, uh, uh, you told me about uh, what happens if you date everybody. Yeah, and on Valentine's on, Day. On Valentine's okay, you want to just tell me because like I haven't watched the video yet. Oh, have so. you seen it? Yeah, I watched it. Yeah. What'd you think? It was it was harrowing. <laughs> it was okay. What we could oh, do is I can watch. How long is that video? It's what like two minutes. It's like two minutes. I can watch it right now, and I'll just cut out me watching it. Okay. And then we'll talk about it right after. Let's, let's talk about it right now. All right. Oh yeah, so future Chris cut. <laughs> <laughs> 
But what did you think, like, That's overall? That's what the internet... Well, hang on, don't. Okay. We're gonna need that for... No, I meant the video. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was a video. Well, it's all right. Okay. I haven't responded to this. Hey! Well, last thing we're going is, like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh! Okay, oh yeah, that's just, you don't need to be a, like, a character of yourself. She says I got the scoop. You're just abandoned, you know? Okay, we can talk about it. We can... And we're back. They beat the shit out of him. Yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> As they rightfully should. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that would be an amazing way to forfeit the game. That you lose the game. <laughs> <laughs> that should just say game over, yeah. to, like, after it. Yeah. Uh, no, the rest of it. Yeah, that makes the ending even weirder where they're all sitting in the car with you and, like, yeah. running away. Oh my god. So like in the other in P three I don't think you were really punished. None nonetheless in P three Fez, um 
in P four Golden, I thought like you're you're, it's not bad, but you feel, like it's not as bad as what this is. It's uh you get chastised pretty hard because you get shots, with of the other girls just passing by and looking at you, if you're with someone else. Yeah, yeah, and just ooh, and they bring it up and they get super pissy and super mad about it. Uh, this is like you straight up <laughs> get the shit beaten out of you. Yeah. And so Jiro and Morgana are just like, well, man, well, you did this to yourself. I mean, I don't know what you want us <laughs> yeah. to say. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I thought that I thought that would have actually been a really good out for the show. <laughs> just uh, just uh, the end of game. Yeah. You've been murdered on a pile of chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Fuck the real heartwarming ending. Just you're yeah. dead. You're dead. You, you Roll, credit. Roll credits. Roll credits. He, it was all for naught. You died. <laughs> yeah. uh, you fucked up, guys. <laughs> you fucked died because you wanted all of it. So like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! Dude, I love how fucking. I love that he just gets the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's the oh, best. Man. Okay, so and now we should probably start talking about like some of the meat and bones of like the meat and gravy okay. of it. If that's how the saying goes. I don't know if uh-huh. it is, is it meat and gravy? is it meat and bones. Whatever. That's that's how English works. Yeah, man. If you if I make it up hard enough and enough people say it, it should be fine. That's that is the rule. Yeah. That is the yeah. rule. That is the master rule of English. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so so, uh, what's your should we start with like what's our experiences with the games like persona games just um uh, like ian what's your past with it because i know you're relatively new uh i i am i um i have some understanding of persona 4 because okay. i was kind of interested in that and i think i watched some of the animation that they made of it they oh. made they did a show yeah it's it's okay it's, it's okay it's you yeah it's like you really should play the game but the game's really long like i get it no oh. Yeah, I mean, this game's really fucking long. Yeah, this game's yeah. really long, too. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, what about P3? Um, I, didn't, I didn't really play P3. Okay, because so. if I had to say, I think you would like P3 a little bit more over P4, maybe because of the story. The story's more philosophical. It's closer oh. to, like, uh, Shin Megami Tensei. Uh, Tensei um, like the first two, more like horror and death. Yeah, well, the first two are just... Yeah, Shin Megami Tensei games mm. that are, like, coated with new paint. Well, because well, I do know something about the, the original P3. Be, the, the old Persona games, mm-hmm. there's two number twos in the series? Yeah, there's, okay. there's Shin Megami Tensei... I feel like I'm fucking up the name every time I say it. Mm-hmm. Shin Megami, you Shin are. You're Megami disappointing us all. Tensei... Tensei... Yeah, it's inside. Um, it's Shinny Shinny Gang Gang. Shinny Shinny Gang Gang. To, yeah, fuck, is it Nocturne and... Or is Nocturne just Shinsigami a spin-off? Shinsigami Entei Nocturne. There's a shit ton of... There's a shit ton of, like, spin-offs, too. But uh, I, I only expected you to even know some stuff about the mainline games. <laughs> oh, look at I just know... I really only know that because it's my favorite ridiculous series of words to say next to... Like, it doesn't oh, mean... Oh, Tensei? It doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah. It's Entei Nocturne. It's, it's just... <laughs> it's just... It's the... It's mm. the... Chic Quattro Power Force Fusion Blade of Words. And like any great amalgamation of games, they're all canon. Yeah. So, uh, except maybe Shimagai Tensei, uh, Raido Kuz- like the Ballad of Raido Kuzunoha or something. Oh, it's, yeah. I don't think it's called the Ballad of Raido Kuz- <laughs> but you play a delinquent who is just, who's a banjo, and you beat up demons, and you fight like a big boss, and it's really cool. Is that the one? But it's a movie in the universe. What? Yeah, yeah, so it's a Quentin Tarantino thing where... <laughs> where this where isn't the main storyline. This yeah. is a movie in the main storyline. Yeah, because they reference it in the Persona games uh, mm-hmm. as a movie. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Which one is the... Because there's one where you go to hell and you fight actual historical figures who are like... So that's like all of them? Okay. <laughs> that is all of them. Because um, there's... One... Oh, wait, historical figures? Because it's mostly demons. So Because well, me... there was one where it was like... It might be one. It might be Persona 1. Okay. Because there, was... there was one... Yes, that... you fight Hitler, Hitler in Persona 1. And yes. then they changed it for the westernization because they were like, oh, people want to make yeah, it Yeah, it's down the great Hitler. leader. Yeah. As everyone... He... They just put him in sunglasses and gave him like yes. a distinguished side of gray. It's uh, it's one. <laughs> okay, 
That's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah. What about what about the one featuring Dante from Devil May Cry? <laughs> Not Oh yeah. Because uh, that's... that's like a joke in like video games. It's it. Cause, so knock the shaving on Tensei, uh, Devil Survivor, uh, oh. or is it? No, I think it's just called Nocturne. Mm. Um, had this. I'm totally. Someone's fucking mad at me because I totally forget what game it is. Uh-huh. Had this fucking big ass sticker on it that said featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series oh, okay. as like a spoiler thing, oh. and just to, just so they because they thought they would boost sales, right? And you can fight him, but it's just like it's so gaudy and like out intrusive, of out of place. That like this games whose themes are about like just youth and um, sort of like building relationships, yeah, a like game where you kill gods, yeah, and like defy laws and uh, <laughs> like not just law laws but like i mean biblical and like the natural laws of the yeah, natural laws that are set apart because every demon and every god is real in this universe right um mm-hmm. which is fucking awesome by the way <laughs> like uh i thought you would get a kick out of that if you ever played these games like mm-hmm. just seeing all the gods and demons from like fairy tales and or like all religions i mean like i said i've seen bits of it i know i'm yeah kind of familiar with bits of it I also remember like the the weirdness about in the in the first sequel that was number two. Okay. That one didn't get Western development at all. I think there was one that didn't get Westernized or like took a really really long time to get Westernized. Uh, some of them did take a really long time just because they weren't selling too uh, much. <clears throat> I think they all made it out here. But it um, had like a very different. Uh, style of of world map in that it was like a kind of top down looking thing, or uh, almost a you're kind of in a god perspective from the character, which is very different than the um, other Persona games. To uh, my knowledge, the problem is there's so many. Oh, is there? Um, oh, okay. That I'm trying to think what wasn't localized. Mostly all the main like Persona ones, I think, okay. were brought. Again, someone's getting mad at me, but um, so if you know. But you watched, so you didn't, so let's get to P5 then. Um, yeah. You you watched an entire playthrough. I watched an entire playthrough of P5 and then I jumped around. Which I can't wait for his channel to get taken out because Atlas <laughs> is like, you know. No, it'll probably be fine, but um, uh, how'd that go? How was that experience like? It was, it was not bad. Like, okay. I think the game looks really fun. Um, it is. I, I was going to talk about the gameplay later just because I knew you probably wouldn't have. I, I mean, I have a little bit of understanding just okay. by watching the mechanics of how the list system works and mm. the turn... It's turn-based. It's your... Yeah. It's your... I don't play a lot of video games, but uh, yeah. Super Mario RPG <laughs> came go. to mind. That's uh, that's my reference pool. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> you <but> did it. <laughs> we got there. Are there any... Yeah. You're, you're appealing to the gamer. I'm, I'm appealing to the... Everybody wants a sequel to that, I'm told. Uh, what did you think of the uh, the interrogations? Where, like, you oh, well, hang on. Uh, I still want to find out about... Let's keep going with... Um, Gameplay? The, yeah. Thanks. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, your experience watching it, LP. My experience watching it. Um, the only thing I could say... And this isn't a problem for probably our listeners and anyone else. Uh-huh. It felt... You get to a certain part narratively... It starts to feel frustrating for me because I, I am not the one playing it. Okay. So yeah. it's like, well, I don't know if I would do or say that. Yeah. So it's yeah, not yeah. my experience necessarily entirely. Mm-hmm. So I had to jump around a lot to different let's plays. Oh, to see what they chose. And sometimes you have fucking Irishmen sh- screaming over it, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, the, I, like I said, like I deliberately sought out the romance path with the girl I liked in it, okay. so I tried to find that. But I also so you found out. like the two other people. I found I mean, like <laughs> I found one guy who did it. Everyone up, ever because everyone else was into the model girl. That was a, that's a really popular. Yeah, one. she's. I think lovers are kind of in any game, in any persona game, is always the most popular. It's her I and think. the the introverted redhead girl yeah Futala very popular oh she well when she was revealed like I remember the internet just losing their shit yeah for her uh knowing nothing 
about her other than, yeah, look, she's like us. She's an otaku. Anyway. She's got glasses. Yeah. Uh, and she is actually a very interesting character. She is. I love her story. Her storyline with her mom, that's a, yeah, that's a it's, good... It's really good. And her development of just getting over her agoraphobia and, like... Trying to build relationships and getting out. And yeah, and talking to people. Like, yeah. is really cool. She goes to the beach and then she, like, hangs out. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> There's I, always a beach episode. There's a, <laughs> that's that's how you know they're on vacation, guys. Yeah, that's how you know. When you see the Samoans? Yeah. The way they do the Samoans. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Did you see that? Do you remember that one shot of the the native Hawaiian? Yeah. Yeah, oh my, yeah the Mr. Popo uh, face. It yeah. shows up for like two seconds. Yep. And I remember talking about it and being like, dude, that's bad. They're usually pretty good that's not... about depicting. Or they just avoid other races altogether. Because... Yeah, I'm sitting there like, did anyone learn anything from Black Lagoon? Like, God fucking... God fucking... And you know what's worse? You know what's worse? Because now, to me, it's just totally the animators because you can meet a character later on in the game who is actually from America, and she is African-American. Yeah. And her character model, and she looks fine. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's nothing... Like, she, like... She doesn't look like a does, Will Eisner sketch that we don't want to talk that about. we don't talk about. Yeah, yeah, no one talks about those. Um, <laughs> that we don't acknowledge so we could still be a great artist. Yeah, exactly. See, and it's weird, and, and it's weird because in um, the pre- their previous game, uh, Shimagami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem, um, yeah, yeah. I just I smile way, every want, time he do says you even, it. Do you even want to guess what that game's, like, motif is? Uh, ten, uh, if it's cr- if it's that cross fire emblem, could you even guess? Is there a lot of like army building? No, 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 no. no. What what is what so is? So you're 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 all your friends are idols, and you have to help them out. Oh no, one of them's trying to become a Sentai like actor, like <laughs> it's pop idol thing. Oh that. pop idol, because yeah. I was in my head like. Like idols on a on a shelf, like <laughs> no, what no. the fuck kind of Toy Story bullshit is this? No, 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 no. like Pop Idols. Okay, <laughs> that's still very different. That's yeah. not. So what's? It's the... not. It's not a mainline game. It's a total like. It's a weird. It's the weird their own thing. Are they related to the to the fighting for the? So so I could. S- no, they're not. Uh, there hasn't been any reference in there or anything. So I don't even think they're part of the universe. Um. The only thing I would say is I think they got a lot of ideas for combat, like based off the way they did it in that previous game, mm-hmm. at least for the press turn system. But they also got that from SMT four, mm-hmm. uh, so. Um, but anyway, they have a character in there who's half Japanese, half American, and she might be half Japanese, half German. Who are? Uh, no, 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 and. The Crossfire Emblem one. Oh, okay. oh, and yeah. she looks, and you look at that character model and go, yeah, yeah, she's, she's half Japanese, half American. She looks great. Um, and she looks great in that. So, obviously, the character models, like, are fine. It's right. just whoever did the animation for that cutscene. Hey, guys, don't, don't you miss DBZ in the old days? <laughs> don't you miss Mr. Popo? We need more Popo. We need more Popo. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just really miss... You remember when the spirit used to have a sidekick? What was his name? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when Alibaba was still uh, oh, man. a force to be reckoned with. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, so you watched an LP of it. Uh, yeah. I played it. Nick was kind of there like the entire way. Um, so I can get the mechanics thing out of the way first, uh, All right. just so we can so definitely we cover it. I think it's the best one out of all the Persona games. It has problems. It definitely does. What, the, what primarily? The biggest problem is that if your main character dies, the game is over. Yeah. Okay. As opposed to any other party member who dies, you can revive them. Which becomes even weirder because later on in the game, if uh, you have other party members who have the ability to revive. Mm. So it makes it even just a weird game contrivance that doesn't need to be there. And it's... It's even like stacked on because in Shin Megami Tensei IV, uh, the mainline games, um, if your excuse me, if your main character dies, it's not game over. Right. The demons that are there helping you can bring you back to life if they want to. Yeah, but that's the same issue I had with FF thirteen because remember? Yeah. No, it's it's a weird problem that uh, a lot of games have gone past, mm-hmm. but Persona always seems to like stick with it um yeah 
I don't know why that choice was still there this time around, especially if in their other games it's gone. But whatever. Um, anyway, the press turn system, which is, which means you're just trying to exploit your enemy's weakness so you gain more turns, mm-hmm. is super fun. It's super. It's really. It's just this layer of strategy to never ever try n- try to never let your opponent have a have a turn. Because they're serious stuff. Like, they will kill you, even if you're, like, high level. Mm. Just from a bad roll or something like that. So it's real... It's just... uh, I think it's so well thought out. um, Except for that one big thing. Um, It's so fun to do. And, like... Fuck. Oh, and they add... Well, they don't, quote-unquote, add... Because it was there in previous games, but they bring it back, like, nuclear as an element choice. Um... Mm -hmm. Which was a big deal in Persona 1, because that was referencing, like, nuclear warfare yeah. and all that. Uh, Psychic, which I think was in 2. And then, fuck, what was the... Oh, and Gun, which is in Shin Megami Tensei 4. <laughs> yes. Uh, super fun. And you get a fucking cool gun, and you can do gun katas if you hang out with that kid who's voiced by the same actress that voices Naoto. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's totally her. It's, she's not even trying to... I mean, it's like it's clear. Yeah, it's clearly it's clear. Um, I like the idea that it's element it's elemental powers like nuclear element. Yeah. This element, guns. Guns. Guns <laughs> are guns. Are totally like building block of of the universe. Yeah. Well, it works in this because the way uh, those palaces and mementos works is since they're in human cognition. Right. Like guns are a big deal. Yeah. With true. humans, yeah. I don't want to get shot by a gun. I I, I also. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so I think I think it's fair enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah so fuck, I, like the combat's really good. Plus the dungeons are now all designed like they used to be randomized, yeah. and they were okay. They were fine. Like, uh, well, I I would say they were just not that great to play through. You would, the fights were probably the better parts of the gameplay mechanics. Uh, the best is of course always just socializing with your friends, but. Yep. Um, these dungeons are designed and they're like they're meant to look like the person's like inner self or cognition or what how they view themselves in the rest of the world mm-hmm. and i think they all work really well except maybe futala's had a little problem with one of the puzzles mm-hmm. for that because it's straight up like if i don't do it and if i don't read all of this in a certain order uh then i can't progress right, even right. though in my head i can make the logical jumps mm-hmm. to it um that's fine. It doesn't last. It's the only one I can think of. Uh, and, like, the final dungeon is okay. It's not great. Uh, Yoshida's um, dungeon, the one on the boat. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, It's yeah. fine. It's The mouse stuff can get a little annoying, but luckily I was able to get past it kind of quick. Um, but the way it ends is fucking amazing. Uh, and it's like, we'll get to that. And... Yeah, just gameplay wise, I think it's the best one. I think it nails it so hard. Uh, so yeah, so let's start getting into story because we are a storyteller. All right. Yeah. All right. So the game yeah. starts out. You're ca- you're in the middle of a heist, and it's like obviously you have your full team. Have a yeah sexy cat burglar mask. Would this be? Would this? Would you consider this in media res or just? Because it's fl- technically a flashback the entire time, up until you get to up Ye- until you catch up. It's. Mm, yeah, you, we're starting at the end and then flashing back to yeah. the beginning. And well, it's not e- like actually the end. It's, it's like middle. it's a little bit before the end. It's a little bit before the end. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, but the what ninety percent, eighty percent? Yeah, is a flashback. Is a flashback, and until like the final ten hours. Like, yeah. All right. So this is uh, your protagonist, which uh, his official name is I think uh, Akira Kurosugi. Uh, so close. Yeah. yeah. Uh, really? Uh, I call them Rosebud Lincoln Star. Because <laughs> 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 you're playing with. Because when we were playing with. I was playing with friends. Uh, we did a stream on the other channel for the first, like, four or five hours. Mm-hmm. And we were coming up with a name. And uh, Rosebud was the one me and my friends always just played with. Ever <laughs> since we all played FF10 once together. Mm-hmm. And we named it Rosebud. I forgot why. <laughs> uh, but Lincoln. But. My friend Henry, who was on the stream, really wanted like Abraham Lincoln because okay. you're you're emancipating, you're, like <laughs> you're, gaining freedom for you. 
Because, uh, I don't know if you ever saw the trailers. The first trailer is, you are slave, want emancipation, is how that ends. It ends with those words. I did not remember that. Uh, no. you, well, dude, that trailer came out, like, years ago. <laughs> uh, That's super fair. I always remember that, because I had lost my shit on that. And I was like, what the fuck does this mean? Uh, what? What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, so you got to put Abraham Lincoln. And I was like, yeah, I'll put Rosebud and then Lincoln. And we have one more space, and then Shire. I just put star. And oh, I okay. put, like, the star symbol. <laughs> So, Rosebud Lincoln Star, to me, is the canon character. Sure. Uh, he is always worried about his DVDs uh, rental <laughs> <laughs> as he comes out. Uh. <laughs> and uh, Well, that was a running joke we had. Yeah, that was, right, that was a really running joke. Or right, there's that thing with Morgana where he meets him the first time as, like, a regular cat. He brings him in, and Sojiro's like, why the fuck do you have that cat with you? And, he's like, and then one of the options is because he has no home. Just, like... Me, <laughs> and so she was like, "You can't have him in here. It's a kitchen." Like, <laughs> and then uh, by the end, he fucking hates Morgana because we're gonna keep telling him to go to sleep. Oh, um, in the end, remember how much like we, yeah, got mad. <laughs> <laughs> where he got it, it comes back and just no. <laughs> for all those, for all those extended scenes with the the yeah in the mm. prison cell. <laughs> uh, yes, and so. You start off with the heist. It's the, it's kind of like, oh man, this is the height of oh, the Phantom Thieves. They're doing it. They're mm-hmm. they're they're doing it stylishly. They're getting all the choice. Then you immediately get caught with like a hundred SWAT like team members who are just lined up to stomp you out. Just all the police. Yeah, are there. yeah. Are just like, so, and then you immediately watch the fall. This is the lowest point mm-hmm. of your character. So you know what this game is leading to. You just gotta know how this all gets there. Yeah. And the journey is, like, super awesome and interesting. And it's all flashback up until you catch up to that point. Then you have the the conceit that he has been removed from his family. So, the what it was is, um, he gets sued He's by, after helping... A woman who's being sexually assaulted. Yeah. Yeah, that guy was fucking crazy. By, by uh, Shido. Shido. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. now you see it. Uh, Shido. Um, which, by the way, I have a problem that he doesn't recognize him like other times in the game. Well, and I mean, he's like, who is that? But Shido's drunk, remember? Sure. But he sees him. He, when you're drunk, you make a different face. Yeah, you they, can't... he manhandles him. <laughs> and he sues the living crap out of him. Oh, that's true. I would think that <laughs> you would right. remember the person who gave him a criminal record. Right? Like Maybe he gave so many. For yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. He's dishing out so so many litigious lawsuits. No, I I don't. I understand why Shido doesn't remember because again, like, why would he fucking care? Yeah. He was. Um, I'm saying why our main protagonist. Oh, okay. Goes, he doesn't recognize that yeah, man. Yeah, that's oh, weird. Who is that guy? He seems familiar. Yeah, that's odd. Yeah, and we're all like, no, it's fucking. <laughs> you guys. Like, you guys. Come you on. were right there. <laughs> um. And it is a fucked up enough story that you can go, yeah, I can get why the main protagonist would have this mentality of helping out the little guy. Yeah. And, like, because already he's naturally inclined to help people who are in danger. Mm-hmm. Um, but also being portrayed, uh, uh, betrayed and, like, in a sense, not just by, like, basically by society for helping someone. By by the the law, by the, you know... This the laws is, of causality. No, uh, by... <laughs> causality. <laughs> <laughs> we skull knights and on yeah, top of the roofs. Uh, <laughs> this is a berserk game after all. Now, um, uh, but like just by just by the government, and yeah. well, it's someone who has a lot of power. It's an authority figure. Authority being abused. Yeah. Also, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, this is uh, this is big. I don't know if, if you remember when I was gushing about this game when it first came out, or when I was finally playing it. Um, this game is all like it's all about just change. It's changing the world. For the better and helping those who, who are constantly put down for doing good, mm-hmm. um, get what they deserve in a sense. Like to for people to listen to them and for people to like just recognize, hey, we should be doing stuff to like contribute to changing the world. Basically, like going against the status quo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and there's also like this thing of social outcasting. Like, every character you meet is an outcast of some sort. Yeah. Uh, your main character has a criminal record, and you go into school, and everyone's like, oh, the fuck is this guy? 
I heard he fucking murdered someone with a knife or something like right, that. Right, right. Fuck is, this guy. I don't want to hang out. Isn't this that. the first, I think, since three and four, right? Because this is the yeah. one where you start off as the bad. Like, no one likes you. No one likes you. And it's great. It's fucking great. Because in P3 and P4, you start as that new kid coming in. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, the new kid. Oh, he's kind of cute. Like, oh, right. yeah, he's super cool. Mm-hmm. Everyone wants to be friends with him. Uh, this one's like, oh, fuck that fucking shitbird who's <laughs> over here and murdered a guy. Murder. <laughs> Murder yeah. face. No one wants any of that. And then you meet Ryuji, who's your buddy and like also kind of a social outcast after He's blonde. Yeah. He's blonde. Uh he the track team thinks they he betrayed them. Yeah. Um for standing up against Kamashita. Mm. Who's who's being a dick burger. Yeah. Which by the way, what a strong fucking first villain. That's a strong for that game. Mm. Just straight up there's no redeeming qualities here. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, this guy, there's nothing in your mind that goes like, we need to. Oh, this is complicated. It's yeah, not, it's complicated. It's yeah. not, this guy has to go. This guy's like, a monster, dude. He's, he's. Something has to change. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Not. Right. Like, <laughs> do something. Well, am I not going to do yeah. I call it the Daredevil uh, problem, which is, um, well, it's not a problem for a story thing. It's a problem in, like, that you can have in a story. Mm-hmm. Whereas, I don't know, you watch Daredevil. I do. Like, it's that thing of, what am I going to do not, like, <laughs> be Daredevil in Hell, Hell's Kitchen? What am I going to do? everyone's corrupt and, like, murdering each other? Not punch bald guys? Yeah. That's yeah, no yeah, solution. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, well, we talked about before how this is the most political, like, yeah. of all of them. Well, hang on. Let's let's focus on Kamoshida first, because we're, we're going to get to political stuff. Because a lot of that can be waited till the end, where it starts having a political message. Yeah. Um... <laughs> So, Kamashita is, you meet this guy, and he picks up on, he picks up on from the subway station, and immediately you're like, that's a little weird. Mm-hmm. Well, and then you find out slowly he's been abusing the, well, you go into his palace. Yeah. Like, by accident, which is a really cool scene, and everyone's, like, freaking out. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is this? And he's been, uh, not only abusing his status as a, as a teacher, mm-hmm. too. He abuses the volleyball team. Yeah. Uh, the guys he physically abuses them, uh, not only by like denying them water or during exercise or all that, but like actually beating them. Yeah, uh, you get that shot where he spikes the fucking ball right in that it, kid's face, and it knocks Mishima like to the floor. And yeah, you're fine. Yeah, he totally did that on purpose. Yeah, yeah. there's no like if answer but Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, like, why would the coach be playing the game? With why is them? he playing with the kids? Because he's trying. Well, because he's trying to show off how cool of how a guy. Yeah, how powerful he is. It's a power move. Uh, I'm an adult man. Yeah. Look how, how great He's I a am. former Olympic gold medalist. Oh, yeah, that's right. Gonna yeah. Gonna beat the shit out of these kids. Who can't, who, that was his one and only good thing he ever did in his life. And now he's a coach at some high school. Yeah. So, it's actually kind of cool because, like, the way the palace works is just a school is a castle. And, like, outside of it is just a regular city. Yeah. Like, showing that outside of school he's just some dude. No, he's just some face or some guy. But here, no, he's but here he's a king. Yeah, here yeah. he's palace. So that's that's a cool, like little art detail yeah. that they do. Um, totally, like it's totally on physical choice. Uh, or sorry, it's totally on purpose. Um, and like he's, they don't, they don't say rape, but he's definitely sexually assaulting. The female students. And harassing, yeah. Yeah. I thought I was and getting pretty, harassing, but you think he was actually... I think I think he raped Shiho, dude. I think yeah, I awesome. think that's what pushes Shiho to uh, try, uh, attempting suicide. Well, I thought it was... I thought it was... Um, she. It's the same thing with On, where like, she, like, he kept pressuring her. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, because there's a pretendy version of her in mm-hmm. his little mind. Where she's a total, yeah, like, slave to him. Yeah. Or just not not really a slave. She wants him like yeah. more than anything. Yeah. And I wasn't sure if the implication was um, that he actually um, raped her, but it was like him pressuring her for sex. And then when she did said no, he started like. I mean, it could be a, They never explicitly say undoubted. It. Uh, there's an undoubted element of a sexual component that he is foisting yeah. onto these girls. Yeah, mm-hmm. As you see in, like, later in the dungeon. Oh, yeah. When you get into that room where it's, yeah, half-naked uh, yeah. volleyball team, like, just strewn across the floor. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it becomes, like, part of the furniture, too. Like, yeah. um, it's fucked. Yeah, like, it's dark. Yeah, it really is. What, like, 
And I and you get to that palace, and I'm like, fuck, this is a strong one to do for as a first opening. And I'm like, well, like if we're gonna do this tone, let's yeah, keep yeah. let's keep going. Um, and it was, I think they nailed it. I I would have preferred if the they had explicitly said rape, because I right. felt like they. You're, I was like, you're so close to going all the way and just nailing this, but they told off on it. They, they never dive too in. It's still, don't get me wrong, it's still fucked and, like, really yeah. bad. I mean, even if... but uh, They might not say it just because he never did that, and it's uh, but it, even if he didn't, it's still incredibly dark that yeah. there is someone in, the, in power that... Even if it only went so far as... A teacher having thoughts, touches, yeah. thoughts like that, or making comments to yeah. try and lead. Even that is well. He does say no. He, he does confess to sexual assault for sure uh, yeah, in his confession. Oh, so. Yeah, that's, so yeah, that's why I'm thinking, man. If you had like, like rape as that punctuation mark, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that dungeon would have just that villain, like that whole sequence would have like been. I don't want to say nice because that's the real, but it would have been the it most would impactful. Punctuate how yeah. how bad this how bad this is. is, and it becomes so real, like uh, which is weird because you're in this like dungeon fan, like cognition thing, yeah. but it becomes so real because you hear about this all the time. You see it happen. That's true. Yeah, everywhere. You know people who have been like gone through who've gone situation. through something similar, like. And it's fucked. Like, it really is. Uh, so, what a strong, like, first villain. Um, yeah, yeah. It's a good job, like, man, this guy has to go. Character design is neat. On oh, the for villains. him? Oh, for on all the, of them. Yeah, on so. The personas of the. Of yeah, the... so they're all. So, I don't know if you know, they're all supposed to be modeled after, like, the Seven Deadly Sins. I didn't, but okay. okay. Yeah, so, um, his. The first. The, the first villain is Gluttony. So that's I was why, gonna say that checks yeah. out, yeah. Yeah, because he has the cup of like, it's really cool. Uh, you, since you're not familiar with uh the SMT games, dude, all the boss designs are supposed to be like this metaphor, like symbolic thing, mm. and I just real say, fucked up. Like they're, and he's you know drinking a goblet of humans. Yeah. Yeah. He eats it and uh, yeah, it's crazy. But it also introduces the mechanic of hey, there's gimmicks during boss fights that you have to learn, mm-hmm. yeah. and that's really fun. Yeah. Um. No, what a good first dungeon and, yeah. like, first villain. And then we get to Madarame, who I would say is not... It's not nearly... It's still bad. It's not nearly as bad as, though, I think, Sexual Assault mm. oh, uh, okay, or yeah. anything. Uh, but it is, like, a real problem. And his is supposed to be Vanity. And the he's, artist? Yeah, he's yeah, the yeah. artist guy. Yeah. Uh, he's the one who's faking... Like, who's making fakes? He's making fake... He bought an original portrait. Yeah, beautiful. Well, it's his. It's Yusuke's mother's portrait. Oh my god! And he let her die, so he could so could take it the portrait and yeah. then make a bunch of forgeries of it. Yes, that is a whole other level of dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty fucked up. Um, mm-hmm. So that's why Yusuke like does like in my head. It's logical that he goes against him towards the end, mm. even though he was his mentor and kind of like father figure. Where if it's all built on lies and like you could have not been my father figure because of this thing you did, yeah, um, it's fucked. Plus, that's his mom's like last thing, the last, yeah, remnant yeah. of his mother, of his mother. Um, so that's it's it's really it's a nicer one. Um, nicer. like you still gotta go, but uh, like oh, murder, it's much nicer. Actually, I wanted to get into this discussion Where's, with you because me and Nick talked about this a little bit. Uh, yeah. Are they do what are what the Phantom Thieves doing ethically sound? Oh yeah, we talked about that. Well, because I don't think it is. That's, that's I think it, I think it'd be somewhat justified. Wait, who who can be somewhat justified? The Phantom Thieves. Okay. Because their whole thing is they change the person from the inside. Right. To confess, so they don't have free will. Yeah, it's so the it's sense. Taking away, it's yes, free will. taking away free will. Uh, it's this thing of not real, real, like not r- real rehab, like rehabilitation. Right. It's just changing the core of the person yeah. to confess. Aren't they technically controlling people the way that people control them? Like. Oh, like they're they're manipulating people's emotions. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that no different? Like. I mean. I mean, it's not on mass. 
is the deal. It's not a mask, it's, and it's to prevent more evil from happening to yeah. other people. It's it's the it's the superhero thing, right? It's oh, like okay. the vigilante. Exactly. Um, if I destroy all these buildings, but save the world. As long as it's against quote unquote bad people. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's fine. If if this was if the target is different, though, mm-hmm. you're a villain. It's the it's the argument of uh you know the the Batman thing of like yeah uh, if I if I murder somebody that just means that there's the same number of murders in the world. Well, what if you murder someone who fucking is a genocider? Yeah, fucking <laughs> to, to pick them. Yeah, why don't we why don't we call the Punisher? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> no, that's what that's what Frank Castle's for. Yeah, yeah exactly. Except that, that he's like psychot- psychotically yeah. unsound. Batman oh. and sometimes bad. justifies it too little. Like yeah. Yeah. Frank Castle doesn't give a fuck about yeah. justifying what he does. Yeah. Batman feels bad. Frank Castle is very aroused when he, <laughs> when he shoots a, a double barrel shotgun in someone's face. When Frank Castle... When he shoots that guy who strapped babies to himself oh to, as a human yeah. shield. When Eminem chainsawed him <laughs> when, in Antarctica. When he blew up all of Riverdale High. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when, he, when he went into a machine and became black for one day... And yeah. hung out with Luke Cage. Did that happen? <laughs> yeah. Wait, you don't know? Did that happen? Yeah, yeah this was like in the it. 70s, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta pull up the picture. I'm no. sorry. I'm sorry, we have to stop. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck Persona 5. Oh my fucking god. That better not be on the show. <laughs> I... Yeah, that was maybe. Luke Cage uh, is there. Uh, um, <laughs> what did... Um... So anyway, yeah. So, so Moderami, what did you think of Moderami? Um, I liked that that storyline. I, I thought that mm-hmm. was really interesting. Um, I wasn't as invested in the is uh the in the the art student. Uh, uh, Yusuke. Yusuke. I yeah. didn't think he was as interesting as um, Blondie. As Ryuji. I, I, I Ryuji's Ry- the homeboy, dude. Ryuji is making it happen, and yeah. I love, love every minute of it. Ryuji, Ryuji's the guy who will die with you. Exactly. Like, <laughs> in, like, war or something. He's, like, he's someone who's, who, even when nothing is going on, yeah. he will enter a room, and it's like, let's fuck some shit up, yeah, guys. Let's do some, like, hey, hey, isn't it great being the Phantom Thieves? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just showed Ian the, oh my God. the cover of Luke Cage and Punisher the Oh, Ray. okay. This isn't <laughs> what I expected. This isn't what I, it's called the Crackdown. Yeah, the Crackdown. <laughs> That's. In Harlem, yeah. In Harlem. What's the. Wait, see, here, okay. <laughs> Who's who? Choose your words carefully. <laughs> this isn't what I expected it to be. Okay. 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 I, do you know the movie? Uh, there was a movie called Soul Brother. There was a movie yeah. in 1988. Yeah, isn't that with uh, uh? Wait, do you mean Brother on the cover? No, I mean Soul Brother. Okay, now then. But it's possible that we made more than one of those movies. <laughs> it was with Charlie Sheen's younger brother. Uh, no, that I don't. Who, who doesn't have the name Sheen? He, yeah. His name is Estevez. But he was in a movie. Emilio Estevez. Emilio Estevez, thank yes. you. <laughs> Emilio Estevez was in a movie where Emilio. his whole thing was he was in witness protection and okay. then became black to be in witness protection. Wow. It's just as troubling as the, <laughs> as the one sentence I just said. <laughs> so I was thinking. This cover looks nothing like that. Don't yeah. worry, guys. Were you expecting like caricature? I was expecting it to look like Frank Castle no, in he, blackface. He, no, he's not yeah. a blackface. He yeah. actually turns he, black. He turns he, black. His entire really? like facial structure. Does is that different. make it? <laughs> it's it's like locking. Does that make it better? <laughs> it's like locking key when they become black. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what? Yeah. You know what? That's a yeah. Problem. But locking key handles it pretty well. They they. This isn't a... well. Him getting <laughs> shot with bullets is not well. This isn't well. There's a new... <laughs> look at that face. I'm zooming in on Punisher's face. Look at his face. That's not well. That's with not the, well handled. With the word. Crack down yeah, right above, above, right above him. him. Yeah, I feel represented. Locking <laughs> key was pretty good though. But, um, Very represented. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I didn't think that he was as engaging as a character. Like mm-hmm. I, uh, I, I, I felt for him. Yeah, I felt. I for really him. did. Me too. Uh, the deal was like I'll admit this. Uh, Yusuke was the only one on my team. I didn't max out social mm-hmm. link. Um, just I wanted everyone else. I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, no, Yusuke, Yusuke's fine. There's stuff that I, I definitely get him. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the, one of the things I'll say is I love how much him and Futaba just talk shit about 
about each other. Oh my god, yeah. Because they would totally not understand each other. Yeah. They would tell he's one who's an artist who has to go out in the world and like experience stuff. And we tell was like, oh man, I love my fucking computer and yeah, like yeah, I love yeah. my Sentai show. Uh, and, then, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and they're just like at each other, just thrilled. And that's one thing I want to say about Persona Five is I really like this cast. I think more than some of the other Persona games, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. at least the way they interact with each other. Yeah, because to me, it's more it's way more how friends would interact. They would talk shit all the time. Yeah. They would, there's, there's tension there, there's like, some people don't like each other as much as the others, but they still pull through at the end, because they realize, yeah, we, like, honestly, we're all we got. In a circle of friends, yeah. you have the one friend who's on the outer orbit, yeah, the friend who is pretty different from you, mm-hmm. but you still really like, and they have a friend you fucking hate. <laughs> yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's real. That is totally real, man. That's very um, real, yeah. And just the way they fight with each other, but they're still, like, a team. They're still a unit. And they're a group of these, like, social outcasts who just don't fit for one reason or another. And for all really good reasons, honestly. (laughs) Um, So, yeah, you didn't didn't dig Yusuke as much as... You didn't dig Matthew Mercer (laughs) as much as the other. I I mean, I agree with both whichever one of you said... I don't. Th- I don't think any of them are bad. Uh-huh. I think they're all well realized characters. Yeah. They're well fleshed out, and and they've they've got. What about that moment where he's holding two lobsters in his hands, like a like a crazy person? <laughs> he, he does the Christ pose in church. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Lobsters. Yeah. Was oh like... yeah. And then the breeze is like, can you not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you actually? I don't. But it's so I can get a character. Yeah, yeah but. Don't. I mean... <laughs> but don't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I think that uh, because I do... I, I, I was kind of invested in Persona 4. Okay. And just as a comparison point, I feel like these characters, all of them had storylines that all got exploration. Mm-hmm. Even, even the characters we meet pretty late in the yeah. game. Yeah. Persona 4... The later they come in the game, the really the shorter yeah the less the less you have an ability to get anything out of mm-hmm. them as a character. Like um, there was that uh, young lady who wore boys' uniforms. And, oh, Nato. Yeah, yeah. She was great. You don't really know much about oh, really? her. I See, thought. I disagree. I think one of hers is like the most. Oh, here we go. Oh, really? Right? Yeah. If you go in depth, it's crazy. Uh, you find out why she became a detective. Okay. Which is because uh, she didn't have parents growing up. She was raised by, I believe, her uncle. Uh, and her uncle had w- was a detective, like a private eye, mm-hmm. but also had these detective novels everywhere. Okay. So when she was a kid, she would just read all of them. And the deal was, and she goes on to explain this, most detectives in the detective yes. novels, but she really wanted to emulate them. That's why she started to dress up. Okay. like Kind of like them. And she realized in this world of detectives, like, women aren't taking that seriously so she kind of kept up this persona um and she that's why she has that identity (laughs) crisis with her like with herself and also and this is all told while you're having while you're doing a detective challenge that you later find out was set up by her uncle oh like it's really nicely done i think hers is like one of the strongest okay yeah well but i think you're right in some sense because other characters you meet later on you know, or especially some of the side characters just aren't too fleshed out. Yeah. yeah, and then we get someone like Yukiko who's on the main team, and oh, I don't know if I want to work for my parents' uh, hotel. Uh, kind of don't. Oh. I want to go challenge myself. Yeah, you know what? I think I should. Nah, fuck all that. I'm gonna take. Right? Gonna... Yeah. And challenge. Fuck Yukiko. What a waste of time <laughs> that was in helping out. You wasted thing. my time. <laughs> you assaulted my time. That's what happened. <laughs> you assault my time. Then the band kid, I want to get better at playing trumpet. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna hang out with uh, I'm gonna hang out with the drama girl who you know her dad like was gone for most of her life and he's back now, so that's interesting. Let's right? go and talk about that. Or oh, like, and he's dying to yeah. add like another. Let's unpack that. Guys. Yeah, let's unpack yeah. this. Or the music uh, kid from P3, who just like doesn't want to be like his dad. Because he has the whole problem with his dad's a doctor. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. That's how forgettable he is. Because yeah. just like, oh, fuck you, dad. I think one of my favorite ones in P3 is just the old couple you can be friends with. Absolutely. Um, because, and you start realizing the reason the the old man in that couple takes a shining to you is because you're filling the role of their passed away 
mm-hmm. like uh, yeah. Sun. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah, that was great. Like, no, it's fucking great. Oh, and also, you can be friends with a, with a writer who has cancer. And if you're not friends with him hard enough, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You didn't friend yeah, good yeah. enough. I remember that. I remember, I remember when my buddy Matt played P3 and I went, oh, did you did you be friends? Did you, like, hang out with him more? He was like, no. Oh, you know he dies if you don't hang out with him? <laughs> like, uh, enough. He's like, what? Yeah, he dies of cancer. <laughs> He's like, what, he has cancer? Yeah, you find out. if You, you gave him <laughs> fucking cancer. <laughs> you could save him because he has a reason to live. Oh, no. And you're like, uh, oh, and I was like, you piece of shit. <laughs> no. I actually had to restart my save file when, I, when Chris told me that. And then I, then I talked to him and he didn't die. <laughs> it, was pretty, it was a pretty good story. I liked it. The, the it, was pen, it was pretty good. You can find that book in Persona 4. Like, or oh, you yeah. don't find the book, but someone, uh, but Kanji... Uh, remembers it and mm. makes like crochets like uh, stuffed animals from that book oh no, no, no. it's really cool um so yeah p5 <laughs> uh, uh, so Madarame yusuke uh so and then the third dungeon happens mm. which is the the mafia guy the mafia yeah guy. the money money not yakuza okay it's Ma- it's mafia <laughs> japanese mafia and you know this because they call themselves mafia <laughs> is that a copyright issue? <laughs> no, no, it's not. Because uh, the character Y, the airsoft uh, shop owner, yeah, the one who sells you weapons, he's ex Yakuza, and he explicitly says Yakuza. So what's Mafia? Mafia is uh, just some mafia guy. Some that silly like, thing. Yeah, it's, that silly is, thing it's smaller than Yakuza. <laughs> And oh, oh, and you fight an ex Yakuza member. No, you fight a current Yakuza member yeah. in the final dungeon. Yeah, yeah, you do. He rips off his shirt like in Yakuza games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> just a Mafia guy. Uh, he's. And he, he's greed. He's greed, oh, and he's yeah. got a big. Piggy bank. P- piggy bank that he balances on top of. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. His transformation's not that great. It's just like. It's just him on top of yeah, a giant it's ball. Just, it's just him on top of a giant ball as a fly. Um. Which is like, I guess, I guess, I it's fair enough because his character is like, I know who I am, I know. Yeah. Is this this is yeah? I get it. I get what I do. Uh, I like. This is where you start really seeing how much how cognition can work. Yeah. Uh, because in his head, Tokyo is like his playground, and every single person is just a walking ATM that like yeah. it's going around. It's a real fun dungeon to go through. Plus, you meet up with second best girl, Makoto. Oh, yeah. Oh, That'd and she, when she, her persona's a bike. You ride on She has a kick-ass <laughs> uniform. And then she punches demons and gods with her fist yeah. and kicks them because she does a keto. Oh, wait. I never explained why she was my pick because you guys talked about it. I'm sorry. Well, why is... She's my son, too. She's so close to Kawakami. Why have you picked uh, this? Really? The only reason, um, I guess because I related to her story the most and kind of her old deal. Mm. Punching people in the face? That yes. and in the motorcycle, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Oh, and just the way she talks to you, man. Like, yeah, like that. she just like and always pissed of... off at you. Know, I didn't know I was into that, but like, yeah. Persona 5 made me realize things about myself. <laughs> yeah. And that and kind of her whole struggle of like, she idolized her older sister, not because she chose to, but because she felt pressured to. Mm. Yeah. Which, and uh, her, she feels guilty, yeah. which is why she's a grade A student. Yeah, uh, her yeah. parents weren't there. Sai is um, expecting her, hey, you should be like studying down. I'm yeah. supporting you. You know, yeah. like, you owe me. You should be. Yeah, yeah. And it, she's like, I want to be a cop. Like, yeah. I want to help people. I yeah. want to, like. Her whole thing is like having this, having the success and making her choices, trying to satisfy others. Yeah, and she convinces herself it's for the benefit of others, but in reality, it's just for her not to feel guilty. Yeah, yeah. So that whole that whole thing, I I think I relate. I know I relate to the most out of all the characters, mm-hmm. so that's why I picked her because I did appreciate her coming to terms and kind of like accepting that you know you have to help yourself and then help yeah. others. So. Yeah, that I liked. I'm glad we all clearly have great self esteem. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, it's like, it's the most, yeah. well, here's the thing, man, it's, uh, these characters are the most relatable, I think, out of any Persona games, because yeah. they have such real problems like that, and they have these character flaws, like, 
either low self-esteem or just low like views of themselves from yeah. being yeah. a social outcast in this world um and anyone can relate to like feeling outside or feeling like the world's against you at some point point. and if so, you like, don't you're part of the fucking problem yeah you're part of the problem mm-hmm. Uh, you're probably some fucking senator. No. He's like, let's some, get, let's some get, politician. <laughs> yeah, it's like he played football in the Ivy League. Uh, have, you, have you seen Twin Peaks yet? Have no, you on? I got it. Oh, I really do. Mystery Science Theater took, is taking up way more time than I thought it Just, would. There's a reoccurring, uh, one of the old characters has come back and he now calls himself Dr. Amp. Okay. And he's just doing like a... Alex Jones slash Glenn Beck like live on the internet okay. ra- rambling rants about the government <laughs> shooting in our children's mouths man we yeah. gotta fucking <laughs> I'm sorry anyway yeah yeah. Um, so um, well let's move past him a fire guy uh, okay. the next is uh, is it Kono Ruba Foods like uh, Okasuba Foods whatever yeah I think it's Haru's, Haru's. yeah it's Haru's right yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is where you get the cool moment with Morgana, though. Um, no, 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 it's Futaba's is next. Futaba, yeah, I'm Futaba sorry. is yeah. who you're introduced to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Kimura girl. Yes. And hers is, the ways hers starts out is, um, fucking cool. She wants to help herself. She knows there's a problem with her. She yeah. know she can identify this thing inside of her that she wants to change, but she doesn't know how to, um. Yeah. So she asks the Phantom Thieves for help. Um, it's a really cool scene where she lets them into her room, but she still hides in the in the closet because she still can't deal with it. Yeah. But she wants to help, so she lets them in just a little, but she's still enclosed in that last like space. Um, and and also that when you when you finish up that section uh, with her, that. Uh, they realize, oh, they're, w- w- what's the thing we're supposed to take? Yeah. It was her. She was the thing. Yeah. She was the treasure of this. this yeah, it's space. it's her, it's what she wants to be. Like, uh, that's why her mother is, like, the final boss of that. It, yeah. Or it's not even her mother. It's, it's this, it's the, it's the guilt she feels after her mother's death. Yeah. Um, and it's all that manifested into this giant monster. And why, by the way, that's like a cool fucking boss fight just for scale. Yeah. It's flying around. It's a big, it's a Six. big thing to her. And she's hiding away from it in the pyramid, like mm-hmm. in this giant stone castle. And by the way, this is even more like cognition showing their views of the world because Futaba has no clue like what really the outside world works anymore. She only knows it via internet. Um, so she feels isolated. That's why it's kind of like in this desert. Mm-hmm. And the pyramid is kind of like the protective coating of it, mm-hmm. and then you get like cool computer things like that are intermixed with all that, yes. because that kind of builds a foundation of your mm-hmm. isolation. Um, <clears throat> no, it's really it's just really be- like beautifully done. Like that, she wants to. That was something I definitely related to. She wants to change this thing about her. She just doesn't know how, so she asks others. Like yeah. It's really cool. It's really... Futaba's great. Like, I don't knock anyone who goes for Futaba. No. Because I think she's awesome. She's, you know, asking for help. That's, yeah. That's, again, we're talking about relatability. That's yeah. a... That's a real thing. That that's is a real a, thing. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. super real. Yeah. Um, yeah knowing, we, like, something's very wrong. Yeah. yeah. You can really tell how well the characters are written since we can, like, point out so many things. Yeah. Way too. Whereas, like, in P3 and P4, there's sometimes characters where I go, oh, yeah, that's that guy who does that one thing. Right. Uh, he's fine. I don't like Yukari. You don't like Yukari? He's yeah. a bitch. Man, Matt would fight you. Like, Why? He really has bad taste. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yukari? She fucking... Oh, the best thing to ever tell Matt is, like, Risa is, the e- is for uh, people who want to play on easy mode. <laughs> <laughs> because she's the lowest requirements in she order is. to romance. <laughs> Anyone? Uh, <laughs> Just pay attention to me. Yeah. This is her knees. This is her knees. Um... <laughs> I think you said knees. Put <laughs> <laughs> your ear. Um, oh, hang on. We never talked about on like really. What do yeah, you What do you think of her? Um, she was nice. Yeah. She was. Uh, she struck me as. Um, she a hottie. Uh, That's my one friend. <laughs> she's uh She's uh, She's got 
I, I'm not gonna. Anyway, yeah. uh, she uh, she's very she's she's like a classic. Uh, uh, she struck me as a very much a classic, like a uh, girl next door, fun time, cool yeah. girl. Then you, um, then but, you find out like she was raised kind of like on her own, yeah. or by like some housekeeper, yeah, uh, who left soon when her parents deemed like you can raise yourself. <laughs> You're fine, right? At this point. She's got yeah. this. But I think that what made her relatable was the concern that she has for other people, the genuine yeah. uh, amount of shit that she gives mm-hmm. for others. I phrase that weird. But yeah. um, with that young... Chia. That, yeah. Uh, her friend Chia. Her the friend. one who, who, who is, tries to commit suicide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm really sad we don't get like more of a follow up on her. Right, I was surprised. Um, yeah. Well, you get the follow up through Anne, through Anne, like she moves, she oh, like yeah. transfers to another school, mm-hmm. um, which is understandable. I mean, how do you go back when you don't want to go the back whole to school the... saw you attempt suicide? Like, and also that you you don't want to go back to a place where you've repeatedly had shitty things happen to you yeah. over and over again. Yeah, that's not you. you good. Yeah, you don't want that. Um, uh, so, I, I also dig how much she's also like I'm really trying to change yeah. like certain aspects of myself um, which all these characters have to a certain degree they're all trying to change something Yeah, which actually kind of persona is all about that because you only gain your personas in these games um, like by, ad- by admitting there's this part of you that you don't acknowledge yeah uh, Persona 4 is all about that. Persona 4 is all about... There's this side of you you don't acknowledge at all. You know it's there, uh, and it'll forever be there, but you don't ever, like, touch upon it. Um, and it's when those feelings come to you and explode. And if the person... The person has to accept that in order to gain a Persona. My favorite... Yeah, my favorite character in Persona 4, for sure. Uh, Which one? Bad Boy Leather Jacket. Kanji? Yeah. Oh, Kanji's fucking... Kanji's actually, like, one of the best characters so in all of Persona series. Fucking cool. Yeah, he's the um, most, yeah. like, conflicted... And like, I love all this tough shit, but I also love cute shit. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm not... Love I'm not stuff. gay, but I'm not straight. straight. He's... And it's, like, a very interesting position. I think I talked about this once, about, like, the Power Rangers movie, surprisingly. <laughs> There's, like, this thing... Because people... Because when people want, like, outside characters, they always go for, like... Just they're gay or they're bi or they're some form they're right. somewhere on the spectrum. Yeah, um, yeah, they never go. F- they hardly ever go for questioning. And and at that age, that's yeah. that's a thing that like yeah, let them fucking figure it out. Yeah, like, they don't. They don't know. Like yeah. they they're at this point in their life. They're like, I don't know, man. I don't. Uh, per, like Power Ranger surprisingly does this well. Where the I Yellow Ranger, yeah, is like she's questioning. She doesn't know. Oh she, yeah, her character. Yeah. Um. Cause I remember we and talked... Kanji is the most like I don't. I'm so conflicted. Like, I got a lot of work to put in. Yeah, this. to work to work this out. I, re- I think we talked a little bit about because the Power Rangers movie came out at the same time as um, Beauty and the Beast, where they were ta- both yeah. like bragging about that. And I, f- I think we <laughs> Power said Rangers it, movie did Power, it better. <laughs> Power Rangers did way better. <laughs> yeah, it does like. Power... One's not it. One's not just a caricature. One's a one, person. One isn't. A magic closet fell on yeah. me. <laughs> One is you have to sit the director down and ask him about right. Yeah, remember, like, do you really have to sit down and explain? If you have like, to sit down and explain, you're probably not doing a great job. Yeah, at explaining this. in your movie. Yeah. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> whereas Power Rangers like does it so, Rangers, like crazy well. Like, yeah, it's good characters. It's a shame they're in a shitty movie. <laughs> and then the, and then all yeah, the that's stuff. like the line I've been saying about that movie the entire time. Making five more guys. Yeah, <laughs> making more. five, five, five. five? More. See, I want them to get some good writers on that. Good like, well, No, the thing is, they do have good writers on that team. They need a good director. <laughs> and I would prefer a good artist, too. I think the, I think yeah. some of the, some of the art direction is not great. Also, unblur that movie because it's been like a blur the entire I mean, time. Like, the Power Rangers has consistently had, like, gross, weird 90s stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, this is a, at least... I think it was actually a step in the right direction. Yeah. No, it's, this is definitely overall, a step in the right yeah. direction. Overall. I think it has so much potential. To yeah. actually being really great. But. Not to derail this conversation, yeah. but Ivan Ooze. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's he? <laughs> it was. It's such a dumb thing. It's he's 
He's magic goo, and he's yeah. evil, but he's, he's a wizard. And he's marketing himself? Or, like, is he, like, just sneezing into jars he or does. something? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, and and he's, he's enslaved the adults. Yeah. There's a skydiving <laughs> competition for an orphanage. No. I'm sorry. We, okay, we'll get back yeah, to yeah. Pe- Persona 5. Persona 5. Uh, so, well, I just want to say, yeah, Kanji is, I think, one of the best. Kanji is a yeah. fucking boss next to ever. Next to Nanako, who is yeah. actually the best <laughs> person. <laughs> She's a five-year-old who takes care of herself, knows how to cook, knows how to do it. She can run an entire house by herself. She's been told it. Five. <laughs> she... <laughs> <laughs> and she fucking loves Junez. How, like, yeah, what the everyone... fuck you doing here? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck Jesus. are you doing at five? <laughs> I, I don't like how this is turned. And, and I love and her whole thing with uh, Dojima, like her dad. I'm like, man, Nanako's so fucking right. Like, this five-year-old. I know. Like, I get it. I get you're tired, man. But, dude, she's, like, raising herself <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> uh, but Dojima's also great. Um, mm-hmm. Persona, no, Persona is actually, like, the whole series is known for really great characters. Uh, but I think Persona 5 nailed it, I think, the most. Like... Uh-huh. I don't know. Um, which brings us to finally getting to Haru, who um, was the Okumura Foods. Uh, um, that boss fight was the weakest, mm-hmm. I think. I but I get it. I get why that boss would do that. Because mm-hmm. he would not fight himself. He would send all these lackeys right. to fight for him. And it's kind of cool that when you hit him, he just falls over. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. And uh, you meet that's when you get the more development with uh, Morgana and it totally makes sense in, in my head it totally makes sense why um, why Morgana would want to leave um, because you get Futaba now Futaba has taken over the role by the way I don't know if you know her persona is called the Necronomicon and okay. it's the second HP Lovecraft like thing they've done what's the first ah uh, the first one is called what's the what's some creature with that's kind of like just all all black and has the wings like leathery membrane I think so I think it's that one was the first oh, cool. and it was a villain in one of the earlier games so, um, but hers is like the second uh, <clears throat> and she fulfills the support role which Morgana was doing the entire game um, and Ryu- and all of a sudden Ryuji's like even way more aggressive to the cat like oh you're fucking useless and all that which Everyone's like, wow, Ryuji, that's crazy. And I'm like, well, dude, the rest of the whole first half of the game is Morgana calling Ryuji useless yeah. every time he fucks up or does something bad. What, what did everyone expect? Yeah, what, like, the first chance Ryuji gets, of course he's going to retaliate. Yeah. Like, yeah, fuck you, cat. <laughs> fuck you, fucking go to sleep. And she leaves, and we get Haru. And Haru's cool. She makes, uh, I love how she's just trying to be cool. And like, oh, okay, I rehearsed this thing. And we come in on the entrance like this. Oh, fuck, I forgot the hat. Uh, yeah. And she's just really trying. Um, and then you find out, like, her dad's the villain of that. Yeah. So she already has this sense of justice that you can see, to the point where it's, I can go against family. Yes. Uh, if needed. Um, and then he dies, which we, which turns yes. into the twist of the movie. You see uh, the character in black, who you find out is a catchy, uh, just blow... Uh, his brain, like, blow Akumura's brains out. Oh, yeah, we didn't talk about that catchy. really. Well, this is where I was going to talk about, and this is where you get that really cool scene of just the black. You find out what happens if you botch. I smell pancakes. The Yeah. This is this is where you, bo- what happens if you botch the whole stealing your heart thing? Yeah. It's really fucked. Like, um, fuck, and Haru watches her dad die on television, like. Yeah, that's. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, and her whole character thing is actually really good um, because it's like I, I'm grieving. I am, um, but we we got work to do. She and it's also this thing of I don't have time to fully yeah. grieve. I like I now just inherited a multi billion dollar company. There's so much going on. I can't. Yeah, the and, arranged marriage. Yeah, the yeah. The, oh my god, that arranged marriage. I told. I almost totally forgot about it. That thing's like fuck. I think dude. it's fucked up. What a tough spot to be in like that's a piece of shit especially when it's tied into the business yeah like that and it's your dad putting you on this plate yeah for oh Jesus Christ um and he's just a super creeper it's is his whole thing is when are we going to fuck like 
That's like his character. Yeah. It's really yeah. gross, man. <laughs> but that's his character, and it's like, oh my god, fuck this guy. Like, <laughs> I really hope that that I hope that one day that it would be just a, a lot, an actual yeah. sitting down to dinner. So I was wondering, what are we going to find? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but but and when you follow her story more and you finally see oh yeah we got we did it he's no longer a problem anymore it's so fucking satisfying like yeah. it's like oh, man yeah. we and we didn't change like we didn't have to go into a palace this time we just had to like do it the old fashioned way um, mm-hmm. beat his ass yeah <laughs> beat his ass <laughs> uh, cover and, him with chocolate and beat yeah. him up. I actually feel and me and Nick, me and you were talking about this. We felt really bad when you turned her down oh. for a minute because you're all like, "Oh, are you too a couple?" And she's like, "No," and then she's like, uh, "But well, do you like?" I was like, "Do you want to be?" Uh, and then you go, "I think no." You're like, "Oh, okay," and then you're like, "Ah, fuck, that, that's harsh." That's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just hard. Um, but she's really cool to play. She has like the strong. She's potentially the strongest character on your team too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you like, totally stack her gun skills. Mm-hmm. Um, she's like the best. Um, no, she's also a really good character. And like, she also comes to terms with what she wants to do. She wants to. She's gonna use her power to make better food for the world. Like to to get better food into better into people's hands. Yeah. And not actually just like cut corners like her dad was doing um so she's doing it from the top level uh so and then we get to is it fuck is it shido's dungeon that's next (laughs) is wait yeah i think it's i think he's next yeah okay okay thanks so i already said i already said my pieces about the dungeons what do you what do you think about shido's that's the boat oh no 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 size Sorry, sorry, sorry. The casino. Casino. Oh, the casino. With fun. the awesome. No, it's really fun. Like the the whole getting chips together and like gambling and yeah. unrigging games. Um, Did we talk about the music? Because the music used in this palace. It's got is, like, it's fucking. It's on dude, another level. Dude, Persona Five music is so fucking. Yeah, you're the music major too. So like, please you, take take a. We take can, it me away. and you, me and you can talk about the music all day because it's fucking great. Right? No, no, I just said that. Like, I, I told Chris constantly. They they killed it. Like, I think this is one of those situations where it's hard to criticize something that succeeded in, in what it was going for. Right, and it did so fucking. Like well. Chris said, the lounge jazz, um, uh, like acid funk. jazz, almost funk, like. Yeah, this type of thing. They sometimes like just industrial rock like really heavy stuff yeah no the transitions were absolutely phenomenal the layering mm-hmm. is like, he really is like on, he he nailed it and yeah that's why it's so hard for me to criticize because he did everything the whole team they did everything that yeah they pursued and i was just blown away at the transitions between boss fights that you talked about mm-hmm. like the, when the lyrics kick in and that's, yeah the layering of music the um yeah Dude, the choice of the choice of instruments I thought was crazy. Yeah, I think that like a lot of it can be played by just a band. Like yeah. if they decided to learn the music, mm-hmm. like it's no, like you could get a whole live experience out of this. Or, um, which Shoji Maguru does do that with a lot of the better songs. But there's stuff where it's like, yeah, you just sat behind, and like kind of did a studio thing mm-hmm. with this. Um, but I would like to think I don't know if he did. I would I would hope I would like to find out. I like to think he recorded some of these like with actual like with the musicians and getting them all together because a lot of it felt very visceral. Like it was just like part of that. You had the like, energy. Yeah, there was so much energy in all that music. Um, even like in just the opening of the game, which is awesome. Which did you did you guys know the the you know the green effect is actually rain. Uh, in in the game because you can see the puddles form no. like during the opening oh. like it's a real cool like using rain as a as just a uh, screen effect like that's neat it's really cool and it also represents kind of like the rain like this whole downcast on society and all but whatever <laughs> no we didn't talk because that's that's crazy yeah fucking oh my god dude Shoji Maguru nails it every fucking time like yeah. oh my god God, I think I I've, I've been listening to. I like you saw me. I ordered that hundred dollar like four vinyl set 
for Persona 5 the day it, like, was announced. Yeah, no, I saw I was there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I, was I was there. there. I saw yeah, yeah, you can't wait for that fucking thing to go. <laughs> no, I, I told Chris, like, from a technical standpoint, even if you don't like the style, yeah. you can't deny that Soji, like, he really, he really improved. Like, there's, like, this... Yeah. Awesome, and then P four, and then P five. Like technically, he's on he's on another level. Yeah, it's it's more than just a step up. I think it's like this cre it's this leap. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is crazy because P four and P three soundtracks are fucking amazing. Yeah. Like, oh my god, yeah, fuck, it's so good. I think the choice and this of... podcast is gonna be strewn with that music, so I can't wait to push it. In. Cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The hardest part is gonna be choosing what songs are gonna be what. I think them choosing uh, Lynn the the. The singer? The singer, yeah. yeah. She's great. No, she that's a fantastic choice. Can you talk a little bit about uh, her? Yeah, she's an R&B singer from South Korea. She's okay. very popular. And he specifically chose her. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, yeah, he could have brought um, the ones for three and four, but... Like, and they're good. They're, they're, they're really good. They're really good at what they do. Yeah. But Lynn, but I think he did right by... It's a, new, it's a style that's pretty different. Yeah. From the other ones, um, so getting a new voice was probably the right choice. Yeah, and the one I specialize. She's in... got so much soul, and it's so powerful too. Yeah. like she's got a real strong voice. Yeah, no, I thought that was an excellent choice. I yeah. think that too. His choose his choice of instruments and for recording and for each song was it's on point. Yeah, like that always blows me away with his music. It's just how the the way he chooses the instruments mm-hmm. and what he uses for each song. It just blows me away. Yeah. And he does, like, weird tunings with uh, instruments, like, that are kind of out there. Mm. So I, I would always try to learn some of their stuff, but it's like, this isn't a weird... It's not C tuning, it's like C half, or mm. just the strings are really weird. Um, so, yeah, it's crazy. He's fucking great. He's yeah. fucking great. Like, oh, my God. So, I think that's... I think, so, with uh, Sai... Is that Sai? Yeah, Whims of Fate. Yeah, is, the, of Fate. is the song that plays. I think when that song kicked in when they were in the casino going through the dungeon, I think yeah. that's when it hit me. Like, it started clicking Oh yeah. how well everything was going together. For me, the first time was uh, the just the night theme. Oh, yeah. Um, but when the first time the lyrics happened. Yeah. It was, it, was the, it was the first time in the game I had to put down the controller, and I just let the song play. Yeah. So I was like, fuck, dude, it's so fucking good. It's... Just smooth, slipping yeah. and sliding everywhere. It's like this buttery. Like... And musically, the best point I think is, besides the credits, which is fan. Well, well, we're gonna. Well, I want to get. I want to build up to that moment. Yeah. Because I think I. You're, I think I know what you're gonna say for yeah. Shido, right? Yeah. Okay. We're. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll get to that. Yeah. We'll get to Shido. Because Shido's fucking awesome. Yeah, we kept talking about it, but yeah. Yeah, because Shido's my favorite villain. Yeah, the whole, <laughs> so yeah, the whole casino thing was crazy. Yeah. For oh, and Sae's design, dude, in her cognition. Beautiful, beautiful. It's awesome. Yeah. She looks so fucking cool. And, yeah. like, just this, the whole dress with the, just the way it's, like, cut, uh, being black. The, even the choker, which, like, seems like a dumb choice on paper, mm-hmm. like, works out for her. Her hat, like, is perfect. Yeah. Even though it's, like, a really big, kind of, almost gaudy, but still fully works with her design. It's flashy, but yeah. it never overpowers the scene. Or yeah, whatever. it's such a good character design. And, like, the tattoo with the low cut dress. Oh, it's fucking... Oh, she's so cool. Like, <laughs> uh, and the fact that your her whole boss, her most of her boss fight is just gambling, and she's cheating. Yes. <laughs> and you have to figure out that she's cheating. It's a dirty game. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's so fucking cool. And, like, you get to that moment, you're like, we're here. We're the moment the game told us we'd get to. Mm. Um, and this is where we can talk about Akechi, who okay. is... Who, come on, he was totally going to be a villain, like, from yeah. the get-go. No, I saw him, yeah. Like, he's he just comes by and he enters... Um, it's fucking like oh, this dude's gonna betray. Did me. I hear something about pancakes? Yeah. <laughs> Did you catch on to that the first time? No. I yeah, me either. I totally, pancakes. totally. I think I wasn't paying enough attention to know that Morgana said it, because I think I thought Ryuji said pancakes. Right. Yeah. So I didn't pick that up. Um, but it is Morgana, and like, yeah, that means he can hear Morgana. Oh. My God. And who's the only other person that's not on our team that can go into the cognition world? Is the guy murdering people uh, on the side? Yeah. Um, fuck. 
and, and like, uh, but his fight, he's just, he's, I don't know if I, like, fully dig his motive. Like, I get it. Um, kind of. Unpack weird. it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so, so, so his motivation um, is that he was abandoned. At, like, well, no, his father just wasn't there. He's a, he's a bastard child. Um, yeah, and his father, Shido. So his whole plan to be this assassin detective is to get closer to Shido. Mm. And so that he can notice him. And then he can murder him. I don't get it. Uh, and, be, mean, and be a known detective. Yeah. You're gonna love me and then die. Yeah, and they love me. You're gonna well, die. It's, it's like the whole Bruce Wayne thing. Like he's the most popular, he's like one of the most popular guy on TV, and people are gonna. How is he not gonna get caught? Like eventually. Yeah. yeah. But he is unhinged. Like he there is so you can, you can excuse it. But I still am like uh, for for it's a little iffy, guess. yeah for for a game full of character motivations that are all sound and like really good. It does stand out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, he is definitely unhinged and like psychotic. Although his closing moments are pretty cool because yeah. you get to see what Shido just thinks of him, and since he doesn't know he's like his kid, he just views him as an assassin. Like yeah. that will kill in cold blood for anything he says. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that fucking casino, that casino thing is great. Sai is great. Uh, although there's some fucking moments, man. Like, because whenever you g- get a new confidant, uh, they're all like, "Oh, you must have gotten help from the school at some point. <laughs> How could you have done that?" And then your confidant opens, and then there's some really like loose ones. Oh, you must have had a lot of. It's like when. So Ian just like tried to <laughs> add a sneeze that didn't come out, and now like the veins in his forehead is <laughs> funny. Fine, I'm sorry. I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> it's fine. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, the it's confidant. eating the inside of your face. <laughs> <laughs> so sounds, like like when you meet Fortune, right? It's on package there. The <laughs> the fortune teller. Yeah. Uh, and then she's like, "You must have had a lot of luck winning that tournament. <laughs> How'd you do it?" And I'm like, "You're fucking social. You're like, come the fuck on, man." How long is this interrogation? Yeah, it's one well, of my playthrough. It's like ninety hours. <laughs> <laughs> ninety hours. So uh, there's some dumb moments like that, but it's pretty yeah. funny. Um, oh, what'd you think of? Um, well, we'll get to. We can talk about Eeyore and all that later. Uh, so. We get to the final, well, not the final dungeon, what do you think is the final dungeon? The boat. The senator. The boat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no, the diet member, technically. And he's going to become prime minister. He's going to be... He's yeah. literally, it's literally election night. Yeah. When when the whole thing comes apart. Um, what do you, you think of him? It... I'm in fucking love with him. But like, <laughs> like... I mean, uh, the, as far I as... Didn't, well, to be fair, I didn't know I liked him until the boss fight. Oh, okay. When, yeah, you, yeah. when you get into... When you find... Like, because that boss fight tells so much about him. Pride? Like, yeah. Are we, are we saying... Yeah, it's pride. pride. It's, it's, he's pride. Um, so, but what do you think about building up to him? Like... Um... And this is the moment where we start making political statements in the game. Oh, here we go. It's gonna get political. Guys. It is. Well, it kind of has to is the deal. Oh, here we Cause go. Because they do, like, talk about it. I mean, yeah, the... The... I mean, oh, shit. I mean, drawing parallel. Are we gonna draw parallels? Are we? Are we drawing? Parallels? I don't know because they, because it, since it is set in Japan, I don't think. Because I don't, right. I don't think they're going for it. I don't think they're what? going for a Trump thing. Oh, I was, I was going for an Abe thing. I was thinking, yeah, I was it's thinking an that. Abe commentary. Oh, okay, yeah, because I think that. Because <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, let's say that okay. I think it was an Abe commentary. Yeah. It was interesting. Well, like. Um, Anyway, the level's good. The level's yeah. good. It's uh, it feels intense. It feels like something he would have. Yeah. Um, it's not. The only problem is sometimes it's not as interesting as the other because sometimes the map is just a square, and like it's, you gotta get. It's a grid. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta work out the approval. Yeah. But you get in this cool like Bilderberg meeting, like eyes wide shut party. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy <laughs> nightmare orgy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Paul, uh, of politicians who like mm. they're in a society on their own and they're on this ship that's basically destroying the city they're completely 
Yeah. We gotta talk. We, we can't avoid it, man. Yeah, we can't. We can't. They're on this. It's because it's all symbolic, of, which I should probably talk about. Um, I didn't talk about Dan Okumura's. Let me let me cover that real quick because okay. I was kind of I was kind of doing that for every maze. Okay. Um. Uh. Well, and I didn't do it for the Mafia. The Mafia is a bank because he loves money and he's <laughs> trying to get all the money in the world, and that's why he has a giant vacuum. <laughs> it's that one's actually pretty straightforward. Um. Uh. Okumura, which is eventually you go to space, is kind of like this corporation. It's what well, it is a corporation, yeah. and it's his kind of view on the influence of the world and like how he kind of resides over it. It's still draining like a bunch of money, but his his like goals are so fucking high up there. That's why his like office is in yeah. space. And all that. By the way, I love his design. It's like this nineteen fifties yeah. like robot. It's really goofy. <laughs> but I, I dig it hmm. um and then Saez is much more interesting because she she you find out like also through Makoto um which is like which by the way I would love if like if you're dating Makoto you could like at some point go to Saez like, I'm dating your sister <laughs> yeah I'm banging your sister <laughs> just buttery <laughs> also I'm banging my teacher <laughs> <laughs> I know. I would have loved. I would have loved if there was an option when you tell them about, like, when you finally romance someone, <laughs> and you could tell them about it, and you're like, "You're dating your teacher, man." That's dark. Yeah, that's, that's dark, funny. guys. I'm like, no, you don't get it. You she's, guys don't get it. She's working hard. She's <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's like, she's a woman. <laughs> she knows what she wants. Like, she yeah. has this sense of justice and value. And yeah. did you see what people... she cares too much? Is her problem. <laughs> yeah, did you see people put, putting their username fucking Kawakami? So that when you introduce yourself, hi, I'm fucking Kawakami. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's so terrible. <laughs> um, um. So, so Saez is, is really interesting mm -hmm. because she lives in this competitive world mm -hmm. um, and she talks about like, yeah, being being a woman and as a prosecutor, as a lawyer, a man, you're always and it, it kind of is is the always deal. at a disadvantage. Yeah, you're always at a disadvantage. You're always trying to fight uphill, and court is like the way she views it. It's gambling. Mm -hmm. This could either view like if she wins, this could further her career. So she's gonna do all she can by putting the odds in her favor. And there's always and there's so many scenes even. You know, when you see the handful of moments you see her interact with other people yeah. who are police or legal people, <clears throat> where you see the weird amount of disdain they have just for her being around. Yeah. It's jarring. Yeah. And, and, it, 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 and they it, all know she's good at her job. Yeah, they know she's good. Yeah. But they just don't want her. They don't want her to be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, they're, and that's why she has to kind of on this, like, almost bitchy persona where she's got to kind of down talk everyone and like, yeah you're not doing your fucking job at catchy mm -hmm. like holy shit yeah um yeah oh wait did we we didn't talk about the twist you know where oh shit how, how he gets out of the interrogation room oh 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 okay, okay. what do you think when of that, that happened um what did i think about it i yeah. i mean i didn't really think about much much of it all. i was like <laughs> yeah okay Oh yeah, yeah right. really. I thought it was great because like they use the cognition world to their to their advantage yeah. to to slip out. I don't know. I was to like, be fair, I kind of realized what happened as soon as the guard disappeared, and I went, "Oh shit, they're in the cognition world." So technically, yeah, that yeah. they'd never, that yeah, this whole time you this guys, time. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah, I, I don't know, I <laughs> maybe I'm maybe I'm a cold bitch. I don't know. I, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And we do know Futawa, like, has the really good hacking skills to, like, time stuff yeah, and all that's that. Right. Um, yeah. And it's never hacking, like, to the point of hacker stuff where it's like, okay, come on, that's not... I'm in. Yeah. It's stuff where, like, I can believe that. I can I can believe it's... it. I don't know much about it, but I can believe it. Like... <laughs> you know what? I might not know anything about... Yeah engineering technology or uh, but I know you don't have to chase down a rabbit and like yeah or four hands on one keyboard in SEIS yeah. oh my god <laughs> you don't play guitar here over the globe and then get secret files <laughs> this is this is where the drug money's going <laughs> <laughs> was that also NCIS 
I fucking know. It, like, it could be. It could be just CIA. CIA. Wait, wait. C- it's the CIA. C- CSI. 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 There, because there was one where they played guitar. No, it was Prince of Persia. They play. They what? beat a level in Prince of Persia, and then just the screen like splits, and a word document appears. What and is it's like, why? This is where all the drama is. <laughs> That's okay. No one would ever be Prince of Persia. No, who? Who could do it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's but it's cool because. Uh, you can see Makoto, who's always been kind of at odds with Akechi. Yes. Like, finally prevail. And yeah. the drawings are cute. And, like... <laughs> Adorable. And just... And then you're like, yeah, fucking Makoto did it. What yeah. endings did you guys get? Uh, I got the true ending. True. Yeah. Because uh, I didn't sell all my friends. I'm like, some fuckers I know. Uh, Damn. Yeah. Big Henry, who's a friend of mine, totally betrayed and sold out his friends. What a piece of shit. And then, and then we, and then he didn't get the true ending. He's like, I have to go back and like get the true ending now. And then me and my buddy are just like, man, we can never trust you. you know yeah, that, right. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? Like, dude, you sold out. Like, everybody. Everybody. How could I ever <laughs> trust you with a secret? Especially or in a like game that. like Persona. When all it takes is just someone asking. Doesn't matter. If it's not even. How much pressure does it yeah. take to make? Because you break? knew you would have been fine. <laughs> uh, I got the uh, I got the true ending and I got the bad ending. Oh, which which, which bad ending? The one it's, where you sell out your friends? You get shot point blank. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah. die. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like fuck. <laughs> fucking fucking balls. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's fucking it's really cool, man. Um, she does fight though. Well, okay. Okay, before that, this. I love the flyers around the palace of him. And like all the shading and oh, yeah, yeah. oh, they look fucking cool, dude! I want a poster <laughs> of that. Like, I want someone to make a poster of Shido's, yeah. like fucking. That, that's a man in power. Yeah, <laughs> just propaganda posters. Yeah, um, but it's really cool because it's the moment where you're like, uh, not only, not only are you hitting someone of high power, mm-hmm. literally the ruler of this country, uh, or at least the most powerful person in this country, mm-hmm. um, or the person who's gonna get the most power. Anyway, okay, um, yeah. But it's like, this is the dude who started it all. This is the guy who made you realize that, yeah, there's... Even if you do good in this world, it could still fuck you over. Yeah. And just create this sense of injustice. Like, um, so you finally get to do it. And you're like... I'm, and playing that game, I'm like so fucking pumped to go against him. Uh, and then you fight Akechi, which is a really cool fight because it's just him against you. By the way, his persona is Loki. So that was Loki's design for that game. Oh, neat. Mm. Yeah. Uh, which was uh, which I was a little bummed out. I couldn't get Loki mm. as my own persona because that means it's his. Um, uh, but I did like that new design a lot. Yeah. Um, which one was it? The Akechi's final persona. Oh, yeah. Uh, is Loki. Um, and he can also summon personas. He also has the power mm. to do that. Mm-hmm. Which is like, so it's just like fighting you is the deal. And so you beat him and you get the two gunshots on the other side of the door. So he'll show up in Persona 5 Platinum when they do, like, Persona 4 Golden. Because <laughs> if it's an off-screen death, it's not a real death. That's right. That's right, guys. That's right. <laughs> um, when Hannibal <laughs> fell off that cliff. Yeah. Also, I didn't like how quick everybody was to forgive him. Because I knew, I know, I... I get it. I get that he was, like, fucked over, like, his entire life. Mm. Uh, he still, like, murdered a bunch of people. So many people. Trying to murder us yeah. in, like, the hardest way possible. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> not only murder, but send everybody to jail. And, like, <laughs> you know, and had further plans to murder everyone. I wasn't... I, my, my character, Rosebud Lincoln Star, was <laughs> on board to quickly forgive Akechi. Not wanted, about this life. <laughs> I wanted to call him Kunta Kinte, but he wasn't Rosebud. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Kunta Kinte, my love. So, like... So, Shido. So, yeah. Do I that, that boss design. Okay, so when you get when you get to Shido's room, you get to his boss fight, mm-hmm. first, uh, you start... you. Tell him like, hey, Akechi was your kid. It's like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I have like a bunch of (laughs) street children are probably looking for me. Um, Like whatever, and you're like, what? Fuck you, you monster! (laughs) And uh, oh, Shido. But then you really get to see, (laughs) 
like just the way he views himself and it's great it's the whole it's the whole diet member like the whole diet of japan clapping for him before that boss fight starts yeah um and he gets that military uniform that's like char uh, but uh it's got it's a military uniform definitely first yeah. of all so he views him and it has medals so he views him in a high like standard uh i thought his helmet was supposed to be like uh the statue of liberty Mm. Oh, like a crown? Yeah, yeah like yeah, a crown, yeah. sort of. I don't know why, like... Because to me, it's like, wouldn't the Statue of Liberty be welcoming to all? Everything. But it's also, like, a symbol of power, in a power, sense. Power, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what well, has now become that. Um, and then he sits upon his fucking golden lion, which is just created of all these people, like, reaching up for him. Yeah. Like, they're all, like, it's all geared towards him. And so he's sitting on a throne, literally made of people who want him, like to who, that's funny. like that's to, the fucking cool like to for him to be in power. Yeah. Like that. And it's the fucking most radical design. Like I loved it so much. It was the moment I went. This is the most SMT design in the entire game. Uh, like you, you, you obviously seem to like it. Or... Yeah, I love the I love the uh, symbolism of, of yeah. like literally making a throne out of. The bodies of your the people who are lifting you up yeah we're lifting you up it's it's like <laughs> and then transform and that boss fight's pretty cool because the lion grows wings and it changes gimmicks mm. <clears throat> pyramid thing's a little weird <laughs> and oh, yeah. although it's a it's supposed to be i i actually don't know like i gotta i, gotta, I can't wait to redo that fight and for that for that first part of the fight it's uh the music uh, it's pretty good. It's the it's the instrumental theme for Rivers in the Desert. Like, yeah, this is a boss fight. This is it sounds fucking cool. It's industrial. Uh, and then he's like, "Fuck this throne of people. It's me. It's all me that did this. But, uh, I raised myself." Yeah. To some rips off his shirt, and he's just like a buff. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's the senator from Metal Gear Rising. Yeah. yeah. And he's wearing the muscle things. Nah, he's like, so- no. Please, no, let's fight. Ivy League. Let's fight. Because at the end of the yeah. day, it was me who got myself to this place. Yeah. yeah. So I'll fight you. No, not none of the people anymore. <laughs> it's just me and you. Fuck, dude. And you're like, country great again. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> and then the lyrics kick in. Yeah. For rivers and the de- dude, I'm getting like shivers now, like because that moment was full goosebumps, like it couldn't have been more perfect. Oh my god. And I had it was another moment. I had to. Drop my controller, Still let the music let the music play. It's fucking amazing. It's the coolest like fucking moment. And like ah, and then he, and then ah, and then he, and then he gets like takes off his uh, apparatus. Yeah. So you become more muscle. He becomes Lord Gino at that point. Yeah, he super gets red. red. Gets yeah. into the like jujitsu like Pose. grappler stance. Yeah. yeah. And because he has so much, he thinks so highly of himself. Mm-hmm. His gimmick is he gives himself an extra turn because he thinks he fucking deserves it. And it's fucking awesome! Like, what a perfect power for that character! <laughs> yeah. Like, what? what's your power? Is it an all-wiping attack? Is it just, like, instant kills? No, I get another turn. I get more than you. Yeah. As long if you get two, then I, then I should get three. Yeah. Like, oh my god! It's so fucking good. Um... Yeah. Uh, and he does like power waves and fucking punching and the music still kicks in you finally defeat him and it's the most satisfying fucking boss fight yeah, oh oh like <laughs> and then they have to like, like, yeah, it's like, so fucking good gotta get off the fucking boat man yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good it's like I couldn't think there was I didn't think there'd be a boss fight <laughs> like in my lifetime in my lifetime <laughs> yeah. Because I'm a huge fan of just boss fights, so, like, when yeah. stuff like that is so fucking perfect, mm-hmm. like, oh, fuck. Yeah. It's so good. It's It makes that entire dungeon the best, in my opinion, just for that moment. Just, just for that moment. It's the best moment in the game. It's, oh, uh, oh, uh, like, oh, whoever designed that deserves, like, a fucking reward. It's like, yeah. oh, we got a raise or something. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. <sighs> okay, <laughs> so, so I can't like hear that song now. Rivers in the desert without when the chorus kicks, or well, when it kicks in, when the lyrics kick in. Yeah, and the song itself. 
I can't I, I can't help but think of him saying, I'll fight for my own justice. I fight for my own justice. His values are like yeah. supposed to be his values are the same as yours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or like he views it, he's saying the exact same things. Yeah. But it's a different meaning. Mo- like yeah. meaning to Motivation it. To it. It's crazy. It's the same words with different meaning. It's like, oh, oh what a good boss fight. Like, uh <laughs> and I'm like, mm, mm. And then, oh, okay. And then he got off the boat. <laughs> then he got <laughs> the off the boat. They have to boat to who's flying through the city because they're, they don't care. They're in this party um, celebrating, their, smelling their own farts, basically. And like, oh, we're so powerful. We're so Ooh. successful. While like the rest of the city is destroyed around them. They don't care. They, like in, in their view, politicians don't care about the actual people they're governing. They only care about their, their status, status and like what they're gaining. You got to keep yourself in power. Yeah, the fact that we're on this private thing that's better than everyone, like. Yeah. Did I, no, no. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, did, did I talk about on the podcast the Dictator's Handbook, the book? Remind me a little bit of it. That's the one of Benito Mussolini and then another uh, political analyst that he had written a book. Yeah, which, yes. is, which is about the whole thing of like, oh, why, why these patterns keep happening, and like, why is it like politicians looking after themselves and yes i think we did talk about it a little bit yeah. it's, it sounds like a good it's it sounds like a good no I, I recommend the book i've been re- finished uh listening to an audiobook oh cool and yeah. uh no it brings up a lot of good points um like even if you don't agree like it's it's incredibly objective so if you have any yeah like opposing things but i think it kind of goes it boils down to that where it's like it's not about what they do is wrong it's about what why they do it so often yeah right that's the question why do these cycles keep repeating themselves yeah. over and mm-hmm. why and why is it that like we need to it's the whole like feeling need to have someone else represent you when the citizen would say they're an individual right. but they need someone to represent them instead right. of themselves representing themselves right right and then it's that whole thing which i thought was really interesting and that's why i thought about this whole time with the game and i think that's what i thought was really cool with shido about having someone represent the whole or the yeah, group. yeah. without having a say because like he says like Chris said like like my justice was everyone's justice and right. it's like that's not true yeah mm-hmm. which I thought was interesting so can we talk about the meanings and deeper themes or oh well wait we still gotta talk about the gods you fight the gods you okay. fight yeah yeah <laughs> at the end right. we still have, like a uh, technically another hour I don't care yeah. if we go over three for Chris Pro um, Chris. <laughs> um well first of all the the ship. Then he eats, like, a cyanide pill or, like, something yeah. that'll kill him for a couple seconds and then bring him back to life. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you get that fake-out moment where Ryuji dies. Um, but he comes back to life and everyone beats the shit out of him. Yes. <laughs> yeah, classic. An- like, that's a- that's such an anime trope, dude. Like, fuck. Take his ass. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, oh, he made us feel bad. He made us feel yeah. feelings. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you, a fan? <laughs> Let's, like, kill him. Ugh. Ugh. God. <laughs> I How dare I feel sad about your... he, he made sad. <laughs> he made sad in me. <laughs> and like, uh, but there's a really, there's that really cool moment in the scene. He's running off the boat. He punches his knee and that actually like has a lot of meaning. It could totally fly by you, but uh, as you find out with his stuff, he had a bum knee like after running. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Yeah, he gets, he gets injured. Uh, he well, he was injured on the on the track team. That's right. Yes. Yeah, because yes, Kamashita yes. like beat the shit out of him, yeah, or right. did something like that. So that moment where he punches his knee and then goes running like to ignore the pain, right. like is it's really nice. That's like a really cool character moment. Yeah. Uh, showing more that Ryuji is a hero and yeah. <laughs> should be like it. Even though, hey guys, isn't it cool being a phantom thief? Oh, I love being a phantom thief. Oh yeah, when Makoto's asking you, and it's like, no, yeah. no, what are you talking about? And then it's like, Ryuji, oh hey, let's be a phantom thief. Let's be a phantom thief. Hey, how's it great being a phantom thief? When can I be a phantom thief? I love how quick they shut that down, too. They're like, Ryuji, stop being a fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> He's. Oh, by the way, I never said mention it. Makoto walking around like trying to investigate you well yeah. like we're in the, it's fucking adorable I love it's that great. Yeah. It's such a good moment I love how bad she is at it <laughs> yeah. she's like oh uh came here you know looking for this study books or something <laughs> oh boy this magazine's really great I can't wait for the next issue <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love I love it <laughs> I love how bad she is at it like oh it's so 
But um, uh, Ryuji's is such an amazing character. He's, yeah. He's... No matter... I felt no matter how bad it got, I was still like, ah, oh, you're still really... I still really like you. Yeah. I still really like he's you. He's your anyway. dude. He's your homeboy, man. He's yeah. the... He'll go to war with you. Yeah. Fight with you. Like, it's great. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, the... the... And then suddenly his costume made a lot more sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. Um, yeah, all their costumes are, like, really cool. Yeah. <clears throat> and so you kill Yoshida. Um, well, you don't kill him. Um, you find out he still confesses it doesn't work. And, like, the big turn around, like, oh, shit. Okay, now everything's going to change. Yeah. If the guy who was going to be prime minister... Said it must change. And then nothing happens. Yeah. In fact, everyone's like, isn't it weird? Like, nothing's happening. Yeah. Nothing, <laughs> nothing's changing. No, there's no difference yeah. in the world anymore. Everyone just kind of moved on and forgot. Mm. About it. They even forgot about the Phantoms. They used to them. This was just some weird moment yeah. that happened and life kept going. Uh. This is fucking weird. And uh, that's when you find out, yeah, Igor who's been who i don't know if you knew this ian but um in japanese the guy who played igor before this game uh passed away i did not know and he had done the voice ever since that character has been invented and that character has been in almost every persona game okay um including the Mm spinoffs he didn't pass away in english though so it was weird that his voice was different in english so some thought it was this like to pay respects to the other Japanese voice actor. To recast him? Yeah, to recast him. Um, and it's still a different voice in his second, The when you find out true Igor. Like, or the real Igor. So I had a question about that. Okay. I don't know if this is the time for this okay. in the story, but... The Holy Grail. So yeah. what's that about? What? How does Holy that... Holy Grail, so you, do you know what Mementos is? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so Mementos is the cognition of everyone. It's yep. the it's the public cognition, it's okay. the social cognition. Wait, wait, so, sheep pull up. So this is where we get into everyone's like something's fucking wrong. We need to go to Mementos and like collective unconscious. Collect, yeah, to go and they go deeper and it's this hellish. It becomes more and more hellish as you like go down until it's just all red and like basically a prison. Mm. Um, that everyone volunteered to stay yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. So as you find out when you're talking with everyone everyone wanted to be in this mm. and this is where you get into the the true um the fake igor who i'll from now on refer to as yaldabosh mm-hmm. uh, which by the way i looked that up i think that's sumerian or uh might be hindu but it's the god of order and a god of yeah no god of order yeah everything's staying the same everything being um i forget which exact really is wrong <clears throat> so this is where you find out yeah everyone is in this prison including the villains are in this on their own accord they volunteer to be in here they don't want change they want things to stay the same no matter how scary it is mm-hmm. uh, because the idea of change is way more scary to them mm-hmm. than just you know. and this is where you get into the Autobosh's thing as the Holy Grail where he's telling you people want corruption people are okay mm-hmm. with there being corruption in the world with there being injustice and it because they're used to it because they know how to deal with that sadness. deal with that not not necessarily thrive or anything they know how to get around it they know how to deal with this world that is shitty whereas if they had to actually address and fix the problem yeah that would cut me what, what, what is, the fuck would happen what the, like or even before that that's to admit we're wrong yes and we've been doing things wrong like scapegoating yeah um it's to admit our own fault it's mm-hmm. to admit that we are the reason nothing changes in this world and we are the reason there is injustice we can't just subscribe it to some faceless entity a politician a group of people or even just a god themselves mm-hmm. it's us yeah and that's the whole point that he brings up um so that's kind of what the holy grail is the holy grail is this i this is what this is the reason this is the prize this is their this is the public's treasure yeah this thing that keeps it going that lets corruption happen and lets everything stay the same okay so that's their treasure um and it's fucking it's so hard-hitting like 
this is where we get into classic SMT. Like, the gods are now, like, in, you're now fighting gods. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you're dealing with them. Um, which, uh, before I get past that, I want to say I do like that prison scene. Or that one, and also the one after you fight uh, evil, or you fight Yaldabaoth in Igor form. Yeah. Yes. You get the true one. It's really cool where you meet up with your friends, and they're in their most downtrodden moment, because this is the moment they realize it was all for nothing. Or it could be all for nothing if we don't right. Do keep something. going. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you also find out this is where Morgana gets her, uh, his or her identity. Uh, she's kind of Morgana's gender neutral mostly because he's not even sure. Okay, that's true. Um, yeah. You know, everybody refers to him as he, okay. and he seems to be okay with that. So, uh, so it doesn't really matter what you refer to Morgana as. Mm-hmm. It seems, but Morgana was created by Igor to kind of like help out. The protagonist, yes, uh, fight against this. Yes. Which in all the other Persona games, Igor does do this. With the protagonist, he gives them the power of the full Arcana, which is to uh, use any other personas to like at their will <laughs> to kind of help them out. With uh, P three, it was to fight against basically the end of the world uh, while also doing a self sacrifice thing. Uh, this is why I said, dude, I think you would like P3 more, the story more. Yeah. Because it is a bigger thing. It's all about mortality and coming to terms with the idea that you're dying. Yeah. Uh, Persona, Persona 4, it's not so much that bigger idea. What it is, it is just an investigation. It's a whodunit. Mm-hmm. Who did this murder? Uh, but it's still really good. Uh, but it also deals with the theme of acknowledging the the flaws that you have right the the part of you that that constantly thinks shit of your best friend or like all this stuff Mm -hmm. and p5 is all about yeah changing the world and feeling like social Mm outcast or why is everything so bad or why is everything shitty all the time yeah all the time uh it's a much darker heavier thing so and you get that cool moment you talk to all your friends and you like bump them up and like yeah, we're gonna fucking do it. We're gonna do it. And then you uh, get to the final dungeon, which is in the city. And by the by the way, that cutscene where you're seeing like people disappear, like it's pretty fucking horrifying because people just because people do see it at that point. Yeah. They're all like, "Oh fuck, They're, that guy just died. Or all He's the dead. Bones. He's gone." Yeah. All the bones in the sky and the blood. Yeah, it's a really fucking cool like moment yeah. or a design. And your friends are disappearing and like. I think you get a shot of Morgana and the protagonist, and half of the protagonist is gone. Yeah. You're like, fuck, it's really cool. Um, yeah, so then you have to... It's The problem is no longer a person. You you realize we... Like I said, everyone wants to put the problems onto a faceless entity or someone. Yeah. Like, not a faceless entity. They want to give it a face. Yeah. But they don't want it to be them. Yeah. They don't want it to be us. Um so you go solve the real problem what's the real cognition thing you have to change you have to change the way society thinks and like have them take responsibility for what they're at fault like for their responsibility towards society as well yeah it's kind of the whole thing of like why it's quicker to blame others before yourself absolutely yeah Yeah. oh yeah it's way easier it's way easier to like you're like that guy did it. They're like, wrong. Yeah. I'm great. Yeah, yeah I'm fucking to, great. Yeah, it's easier to point a finger. Yeah, yeah and I think that's, that's there's no flaws I have. Yeah, that's actually literally, again, it's the whole thing of like all this stuff reminded me because I just finished the book of the Dictator's Handbook uh-huh. when Chris was going through the ending. And mm-hmm. I was watching him play, and I can kind of see that whole theme reflecting on the book, talking about yeah, because they've worked for like thirty or forty years with different countries, and they just made a book about like what they what they got. Uh huh with different like systems and he basically explained about that about how quickly and how kind of scary pe- uh, people turn on others well people people want not only to not be wrong they want mm. also the comfort of knowing that they are a part of a system that is mm. right yeah They're, yeah they people are much more willing to give up parts of themselves yeah. to embrace that safety yeah. Yeah. Than, yeah. Comfort. Than what they think they are, like able to do. Absolutely. Yeah. Which I thought was I thought was pretty interesting. Where it's kind of like it's no matter what the system, it's just, it's always the same. 
same reaction. It's mm-hmm. always the same finger being pointed, like yeah, same motion. Like they said, like it's the same motion. Because it's not. Because again, like you said, it's not just a person. It's society. It's humans as a whole. Then the way we think. Yeah. yeah. Um. So that's what your end goal is. Your end goal is to change how people think. Yeah, that's crazy. And, that, uh, that and you do mind. this, I do, and you're fighting <laughs> against it, and you fight the these these angels have been in all the Persona games. Like as demons, you can just summer. But the fact that you fight like the four archangels, who ah, are um, the protectors of God, like yeah. or God's like right in Christian mythology, is really fucking cool. Yeah, and they all have their own personalities. Yeah, um, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and... and there's one more, the one with the flower. Um, yeah, what's her name? God damn it, Michael Raphael. Or, yeah, it ends with E L. Yeah, it ends with E L. Uh, uh, Abigail. No, I was gonna say, Abigail. I was gonna say Abigail. Abigail. Samuel. It's not Samuel, but uh, oh my God! Have it, hang on. Well, no, I'll ask you at the end as a, like more fun question. Uh, <laughs> I keep forgetting. That. So you climb up this tower, right? And you guys feel free to interject at any time because I'm just trying to, like, yeah. And you fight all these angels, and they're and it's just now you fight God. Yeah. Because <laughs> in a sense, in a sense, like God is the actual figure that we put upon or some form of god some higher being yeah. um that controls everything that creates order i yeah. mean yeah they the reason they didn't just straight up say god one is to avoid christian backlash i think but they yeah. chose yagavash who yeah. is like i just said the god of order yeah in yeah. their respective religion so it's the thing that's keeping it all together the problem is order because yeah. order itself is composed of all these corruptions and all. And these. it's a cycle of repetitions yeah that it does not do. Yeah. yeah, and that fight's awesome. Yeah, like just an amalgamation of all the past bosses and their gimmicks. Yeah, and it's really cool. And then oh, and you get your moment where like it happens every Persona game. Uh, you fail, and then they're like, "Fuck, isn't it working?" So and then you get the shots from the crowd from the people of the crowd who are starting to notice like, "Hey, these people are changing mm-hmm. this," or they're fighting a guy. Yeah, <laughs> like what the fuck's going on up there? And that little that little sign is aren't those a fan of thieves? And then that's when you first get the your logo starts appearing on the TV, like really shaking all that. And then uh, you get that cool anime moment where you know all your friends and the people you met along the we way. You. Yeah, yeah, all your confident the people you max out. Yeah, confidants like are the ones cheering you on and showing you up. Um, mm-hmm. And. Like I'm getting like waves of chills thinking about it because I actually found it like really powerful. It was like, crazy, moment. yeah. Uh, and they're all like cheering you, and then you get that fucking meter at the bottom of the screen, which yeah, it's a little, it's a little cheesy, it's a little, but like you've been viewing that thing of like the entire game, mm-hmm. yeah. and stare to show you, hey, this is how much society has been thinking about what you're doing and like the changes you've been making, and just hit hitting a hundred, mm-hmm. and then you're like get all that power back, and who do you fucking summon? <laughs> to fight this final like boss who's the only guy that's ever like rebelled against a god that's so strong about that you fu- you summon fucking satan and it's <laughs> the, the cool it's the fucking coolest thing who's the only one that has the balls to take on god like <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is brought to you by uh, the church of satan church of satan <laughs> church of satan well and like it's also like <laughs> And it's supposed to be just a sign of disorder. Absolutely. Yeah. Like it's against status quo. It's yeah, yeah. about disrupting yeah. Mm-hmm. order. Yeah. yeah. And what does he and do? A magic? No, he pulls out a fucking gun <laughs> on God. <laughs> he pulls out a gun on Dude, God. It's so fucking cool because because you just get that one Sony and it's your main, it's your protagonist, it's Rosebud Lincoln Star. <laughs> like, <laughs> <Kunti kinti omega. laughs> Rosemary Lincoln Star pulls out the gun and you're like oh okay I'm gonna shoot him it's gonna be real cold and then Satan has his big fucking magnum <laughs> like, and shoots God in the face <laughs> he went Tupac on him oh yeah. dude it's so fucking cool like and it made so much sense like yeah who is the only one that would constantly go against the status quo go fight against it's, not o- not only go against status quo fight against the guy who is keeping it together. Yeah. Like, and it's Satan. It's like, it's the biggest, like... Checks out. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it I makes mean, so much sense. thematically, symbolically, that yeah. makes great sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they could have chosen any other god, like maybe a trickster god or something like that. 
But the deal with that is, it trickster gods are not so much. Well, because someone someone brought that up to me as yep. I was bringing up why I think Satan's like the perfect choice. Uh, trickster gods are not so much against the the main gods. They're not they're not antagonists to just what a, we consider. Just selfishly out for themselves. Yeah, they're for themselves. They're not for some great. They're not. They don't have an idea. They don't have. A, no, sorry, not an idea. An ideal or mm-hmm. this like sense. Of the world, of what they think, the, the world should be. Whereas Satan the, does. Satan's Satan's deal is, uh, hey, you making a sandcastle there? Fuck oh, your shit! shit. <laughs> I hate it. Well, like mm-hmm. also too, he's the one. He was an archangel. Yeah. He went against God to create because he felt like none of us are getting. You obviously have the most power. You have yeah. like the most stuff going on. We want some of that. We want equality or some shit like that. This is a there is a very Miltonian devil but yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, very yeah, more yeah. miltonian than yeah, yeah like yeah. hardcore <laughs> you said yeah you know guys i'm just a romantic who thinks yeah uh, what about egalitarianism <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. it's very more milton s but i'm sure that's what i think they're going for obviously the people who write these the persona stories and the smt stories are so familiar with oh uh, i'm sure like all literature forms of mythology yeah. and like all this mm-hmm. um so like yeah fuck dude it's such a perfect choice pulls out a fucking gun on god and shoots him in the face he looks so cool dude like uh he's got this like um he's got the he's got these like minotaur uh horns but it's also like what's the uniform what's the who's the guy that fights wolves bullfighters Um, matador matador he's got got kind of like it's it's reminiscent of that it's very it's got this like spanish motif okay i think going on um, it's fucking cool. It's These little guys? Yeah. 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 Uh, so, dude, such a fucking perfect moment. Like, I mean, people always thought about you and Kami, and then the guy from P3, and that's nice and all, but have they ever pulled a gun on fucking God? Who's gonna fuck with a man <laughs> who pulled out a gun on God and shot him in the face? And then we get into, um, and then it all, it's all good, and then it starts fucking snowing, and like, it's a, <laughs> it's a straight up, like, li- uh, wonderful life. Uh, oh, Clarence. Like, dude, to the point where Anne fucking says, oh, I guess this is what they call White Christmas. It's not Christmas. And I, when that happened, I immediately said, fuck you, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> was that was that more or less upsetting than, uh, I've got a scoop on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, the White Christmas is way white worse. White Christmas, okay. <laughs> the White Christmas is so much worse. Because that was, a, I was like, man, everything's wrapping up perfectly. <laughs> and, and, then, and, then, and then Anne ruins it with this one fucking line. And, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, and then, like, Saya comes up and he's like, but you know, so we need, like, hey, just really enjoy this moment. You know we have to arrest someone. People are going to want a face to... Uh, and if and you've learned all this, you've learned people are gonna want someone to blame for all this, and and their mind phantom thieves are still criminals. That's true. And you guys haven't been acquitted for murder, so you guys are still potentially murderers in the eyes of the public. So I'm taking you to jail tomorrow. <laughs> like, and it's like, yeah, that's how it's gotta go. Um, and you get that cool night if you have a max out like romantic relationship you get that night with someone yeah. um but it always ends no matter what it always ends with the other person being worried about you because yeah. you don't tell them that you're going to be arrested how could you explain day. yeah how can you explain that how can you yeah. explain this thing that has to happen yeah uh and then you get what i like to me the strongest emotional moment in the game like most hard hitting for me is you're in jail and all your confidants are just putting in the work to get you out. Yeah. Every single one. Um, it's fantastic. You go from this, it's so good. Like, you go from this big, giant scale of changing society, fighting gods, and then you're just this you know, small so... time. Your, your friends are doing the legwork. Yeah. They're, they're there for you. you. These people you helped out. These people who you helped out, just like that person at the beginning of the game. Um, instead of being betrayed this time they pull through for you yeah. they get yeah. you out of jail early it's such a nice like come around to this yeah. you finally get what you deserve for your actions yeah. and it's so fucking beautiful like it's such a good good ending to that yeah. it's full like ah 
We talk about circles all the time, like, in storytelling, but this is, like... I mean, a lot of them are shaped like circles. Yeah, a lot of them are shaped like circles. Something. Um, It's such a nice, like, wrap, like, conclusion to that. And then... Oh, good. Uh, When you come back, uh, all your friends are, like, super happy to see you. And then Morgana comes in and steals the fucking show because (laughs) it's a cat. She screaming. And then... (laughs) And then everyone's like, "Oh, why? Wait, why we? Why didn't you come back earlier then?" It's like, "Cause we were saying goodbye, and like it was really kind of weird." So, <laughs> so we did, like, I felt like uh, like you fucking <laughs> you fucking piece of shit cat. You're like, yeah, I can find this. I don't have to sleep anymore. Yeah, we're gone. Stealing my fucking thunder. <laughs> I'm your my friends. My get friends. <laughs> Comes up, go get out, get out, get out right now. <laughs> Look at the shit. So oh, and then of course you get the you get the Valentine's Day with your uh, with your sweetie, yeah. and with Kawakami, there's no there's no if ands or buts what happens after. Oh, it's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's fucking it's the best part. <laughs> How did it end with the reporter? Like out of curiosity, um, in Valentine's Day, it's like a, I mean it's pretty similar. I'd oh, okay, say. it's not. It's you prob- don't get the line of now you service me. No. No, no, no. It was, it's more like a... From my report. <laughs> it's more like a, a I, I can't give you quotes, but it's like a, it's like a, a nice moment between the two of uh-huh. you where you're just like in uh, in this... Uh, uh, like Diner. Di- or a cafe. Yeah, a yeah, little cafe place. It's like, mm. a, I don't know what, a, what do you... It's, it's heavily implied that something's about to happen. Yeah. It's heavily implied that, I don't know, what do you feel like doing later? kind yeah. of thing yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that yeah. is you but yeah. it's not Kyle Kami's where she's like no you know, not only do you know what you're doing you also know what role oh, <laughs> you're yeah. playing yeah in that situation mm-hmm. um yeah and it's just and then it ends it ends with a real like it's actually a really happy ending for yeah. consider compared to the other Persona games um yeah do you want me to tell you yeah do you know how Persona 3 and Persona 4 end I know how Persona 3 ends, I don't remember. Yeah, you, you straight up die. Yeah. And, like, uh, yeah. and But it's important that, like, the main character dies yeah. for that. Yeah, 4 is. Uh, four, 4 is, like, 4 actually made me cry a little because it's, um... Because I played that game at, like, probably the best point of my life I could have played that game. Sure. I was just leaving for college and, like, mm-hmm. uh, that ending is all you leaving your friends behind because you got to move on. Yeah. I'm oh, like, oh, man. fuck, yeah. Oh, yeah. The real... But this is much more... That's why I think this one doesn't have much of a punch as, like, that one did. Um, but you're like, yeah, you gotta go back, and your friends are like, nah, fuck that. We're gonna go with you. Yeah. Let's take a road trip back to your place. And, like, it's a cool, nice... It's a nicer ending. It's, like, a happier ending. All, all seven, eight of you. Yeah, in the, and in the van. Yeah. Uh, Nakoda's driving. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then the fucking credit song plays. It's fucking beautiful. Yeah, really good. Uh, so yeah, this is um, what well we can talk about some of the side characters now because I think we kind of glossed over them. Some of the other confidants. Mm-hmm. So I would just ask, what are some of your guys' favorites? Or let's you we can sorry let we should keep talking about the themes. Okay, like yeah. what other what other stuff? Themes. Things? Yeah. Thematically. I fucking want to talk about the political things. Okay, let's talk about it. Oh, shit, here we go. Because then we can talk about my favorite social link in the game, which is Yoshida. He's a hero. Who is the politician man who teaches you how to give speeches. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, start us off. Um, I now, now talking about about it with you guys, yeah. I now feel like it is it is like an Abe uh, kind of comedy. It's probably not just about him. Yeah, I well, mean, mm-hmm. I think it's like the similarities between his actions and then the ones who before kind of had similar actions. Or like, I mean, yeah. Well, so um, what had happened? What, what had happened was mm-hmm. uh, Abe has ushered in a, a like a new age of conservatism mm-hmm. for Japan. Oh okay. yeah, but it's like a, it's a very. If you know this, I don't have to keep going on about it. But it's it's a it's a very, it's very conservative. Okay. Like, um, it's so conservative that I think he's he's got like around forty ish something percentile approval rates that even other conservatives in Japan are kind of uncomfortable with. Yeah. Quite the direction he's going, and, <coughs> and he's going specifically in like a very um, hmm. pre forties Japan. Shit. 
kind of view of things. Okay. That, so uh, Abe ushered in a... This isn't direct... We'll, we'll tie this into a game, I promise. Okay. But Abe ushered in uh, the fir- one of the first major changes to the constitution of Japan. Okay. With, uh, he got enough people in the cabinet, in the, in the parties, to, to vote. And so they've struck down Article 9 of the Constitution, uh, which says Japan cannot have an offensive military presence of any kind. And he's like, well, that's, you know, that was 70 years ago, and it's time for Japan to be able to send troops wherever we want in the world, if we need to. Um, Even though that was made specifically because of World War II. Specifically because of that. because of war. Uh, And he's like, you know... Japan isn't an imperial force anymore. We're yeah. not take. We're not stealing countries from people. Yeah, and uh, it's really offensive that people think that. However, wasn't it great when we were an imperial force and we were stealing countries from people? Yeah, wasn't it great before World War II? Wasn't that pretty great? But he like what the problem is. He keeps saying like, "Of course, we're not actually gonna like start doing things like that." Yeah, but at the same yeah. time saying. Yes, wasn't it awesome when we were doing that, wasn't you guys? It cool? You yeah. guys remember, you 30-year-olds, don't you remember? Yeah. You, 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 don't, you don't remember? Yeah. <laughs> you remember when, when we just, born? like, set the Koreas on fire? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Unit 731. That, let's make 32. <laughs> what, a, what a time. So, he's got a lot of push. From what I've heard, understood, he's got a lot of pushback because, uh-huh. of, because of that. Mm-hmm. And because, like, a lot of... Uh, that's a lot to fucking unpack. We talked about Japan, Japan's sure. culture a little bit last time on the podcast. Uh-huh. And, like, so it's a complicated issue yeah. for them. Very, yeah, very uh, So I, I feel like that ties into this idea of uh-huh. an almost deified figurehead yeah. is, is, a, is a thing. Yeah. And it is an established thing. But, like, I don't think that's necessary. It is Abe, but it's other people. Yeah, it's... um. Mm. I well, I can definitely, I can definitely see, and it's probably true that they pulled the loot like ideas from the situation that's going on. Yeah, I wouldn't go so far to argue that this game is about. Oh like, no 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 no! Yeah, 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 no, yeah. this is just hey, these are these certain traits that we see in all world leaders yes. that are yeah. of this type. And this is not a cool trend. Yeah, guys. this is not good yeah. like, well it's the whole like in spite of others you know the whole like you have if you have a political thing of be- better than the alternative like Shido had better than the alternative like, yes yeah yeah i think at a certain point in his campaign he does say that there is literally a chapter in dictator's handbook which explains why they make the whole why that happens there's so much of that sh- i mean yeah i mean in other world political because it because uh, it works because like people on some level know it's not great or it's bad yeah at a certain point but it could be worse but mm. it, and then that allow at least people, that's the thought they're going through i think and then a lot of people make allowances yeah for really fucked up terrible yeah. things like well, we have to make compromises i mean sure he's fucking babies but yeah. like <laughs> he could be eating them guys <laughs> like they're surviving right yeah yeah I, I don't know why that's the first example I jumped to. But, it could be. It I don't know if you were ever seen there. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we could be. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, that's crazy. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. No, but, what, what you were saying about the notion of um, his... And then that, that idea of... Him sitting on the throne made of people who have elected him to power and then yeah. eventually saying, I don't need that shit. Yeah. I'm better than... Like, that is tr- troublingly... Even people who aren't dictators, yeah. people who aspire to dictator. No, oh, yeah. They do that. Mm-hmm. They do that kind of, like... Yeah. I don't know. If I was a cra- like a crazy person would say something like, I could shoot someone in the street and people would still love me. Yeah. Like that kind of insane bullshit that no one would ever say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, there's a whole analyst about that where, um, where it's like uh, there's dictators and then there's a guy saying, oh, I'll be better than that. Yeah. I may have these things you might not like, but it's better than what's happening right now. Uh, help, me rev- help me start this revolution. I'm in the revolution. He's in power. What's going on? You're paying the guys who the other guy was corrupting. No, no, it's the game. Like, you guys, you, you, you don't understand. You gotta play the game. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 
I mean, it's I mean, when you're the citizen, it's fucked up. But if you're the leader, like inspiring leader, it makes sense. It's it's um, uh, for a super topical reference. It's, oh, here we go. It's like uh, <laughs> when uh, <laughs> Generalissimo Baptisma was kicked out of Cuba uh-huh. so yeah. that uh, the Castro family could yeah. come into power. Yeah. Like, um, it wasn't great for a lot of the poor people in Cuba because mm-hmm. it was just like, it's basically foreigners and me making money at yeah. the casinos and all this shit. And then the Castros were like, I can do better than that! Yeah. And then, yeah, all all the other things happened and it was great <laughs> there forever. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. But it's no, it is that. This is what that. This is what this game does so well. Is it not? Like without calling people out, it just touches upon the mentality that they have. It's types. Yeah. It it, it hits on types of people very well. I yeah. Think. And yeah. it and it makes them personal. Like yeah. while still while still being able to do that, you can hit types and it just becomes a caricature, and it's not even and it doesn't feel real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But all of the characters and villains are very real because they not only choose a type they choose a very specific type for those kind of things yeah you get the you get the you get the coach who is her uh sexually assaulting and um abusing his students yeah and the school kind of ignores this uh that's happened enough that people like will believe that yeah there's an artist who is selling fakes of their works we know of plenty of cases of forgeries too many yeah. of traces of like art it happens even in like the smaller scale too absolutely um you hit the you hit the local crime like not just yakuza big which is big national like levels but you hit local crime who are yeah. just people who are making money off like probably the sleazier parts of that yeah. that's that's the least believable one in my opinion but it's but i think it's enough in the public conscious that we can see it um or that we can believe it Yes, it's uh, the uh, little Armenia. Yeah, situation. what happened? The, again? <laughs> what happened? No, would you guys know about the, the little Armenia thing? No. That's, that's oh the, yeah. Oh, there's like a there's like a three families here in Los Angeles uh-huh. who are like an Armenian mafia. Okay. But you don't hear about any crime because they're li- they live in like high end neighborhoods uh-huh. where there isn't crime going on, and okay. so one has to wonder how are there that many mafias going on without crime. It's because they all have connections to old Armenia, oh, okay. where they have proxy wars. Apparently, oh. they will have like if someone. Then it might sound them. like I'm like pleased that I'm. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, oh, oh, wow, good. Wow, that's oh, that's not my problem. Oh, that's uh, interesting. Tell, tell me more. They have like yeah, they have these three groups of Armenian uh, like family dynasties, and when one of them fucks up with the other one, just there will be a shootout somewhere in old Armenia on the other side of the oh, planet. okay. So that's how they kind of uh, avoid any detection from the authorities. Oh. Huh. But it's well established that, like, the two ends are... Los Angeles... I did not... Los Angeles has a bigger population of Armenian people than Armenia, the country. Yeah, this I did true. find out about very recently, because... It's because my work, we've gone through Little Armenia before to deliver stuff. Right, yeah. Um, so I was like, oh, I didn't know there was Little Armenia. I'm going to do a little bit of... Wow, we have the biggest, like... It's the biggest in the whole world. Yeah. The whole world. And they, so they clearly have connections globally. Yeah, so that thing, that thing you said, yeah. I'm yeah. relating. Well that's, yeah. like, well, that's like with Skid Row, the, 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 when they found the Kingpin last year in Cerritos, in the high-end yeah. party of Cerritos. He was like, he, yeah, like that. He was sitting in a chair in his house, just controlling the entire yeah. ring. Yeah. It skipped rope, and he got caught. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's 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 when yeah. you're when you're highbrow organized criminals, <laughs> you know. And then, um, and then you move on to corporation, which is much more relatable to the on mass. Oh yeah, like, absolutely. Um, just it's so easy to make a corporation evil. Like um, they're like so to eager be, to be evil. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, and then of course politician, which is by far the easiest thing yeah. to, <laughs> to absolutely yeah. and then you go straight into the hardest thing to make evil but at also at the same time the easiest which is the public at large the the disaffected public who's yeah. just fitting into its own cycle of abuse yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's like cause at some point cause I think on some level we all know this um 
like even if we try to deny it, I think on some level we realize that we are responsible for all yeah, this. Yeah, we're all. Yeah. Um, but we keep putting it down, uh, which is why I think it's the hardest one to acknowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> no, sorry. It's just uh, you guys would love the dict. I keep referring to it, but the dictator's handbook. It literally says in the beginning. No, it's we're all looking out for ourselves. Like, mm-hmm. not. <laughs> it's not. He said, like, you know, at the end of the day, like, you can't really blame anyone but the choices you make. Yeah. The, the, the reference I always like, not to be glib, but was, um, yeah. everyone fucking hates Facebook. Everyone yeah. talks about how fucking terrible Facebook is. is you can stop it. Yeah. Just stop being on it. See, so here's the uh, thing. I'm at the cookies point are where, awful. I'm at the point where I'm almost like, yeah, I think I'm going to finally get rid of um, my Facebook account. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that's getting me on there is... Uh, I have to run this. <laughs> right. And I have to run the other YouTube channel. Um, plus, uh, and the only added benefit I think I get anymore is I get to see musicians and bands and other <laughs> artists I know like put up for events. Yeah. Um, but I think I, because I've gotten more and more into Twitter and I think yeah. I like Twitter way more. Yeah. Um, as for, I can go into a whole like, Twitter, what what am I? What am I feeling at this moment? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, but yeah, we could stop. We could stop at any moment. But we we, we all have the power to kill it. Yeah, they but we all have this relegation to. to. Yeah, this is more of the gorillas like <laughs> an- analysis, right? Um, Boy, that hook. <laughs> we could do it. We could. We could. <laughs> any minute. Any minute now. Yeah. Uh, but we don't. Literally, could walk into that other room. Yeah make it happen right now yeah and that's why it's so frustrating with uh with thinking about like change on that big of a level because yeah. on a sense you know what it's the easiest thing in the world and it's also the fucking hardest thing in the world yeah. Yeah. it's easiest because people can just decide yeah. not to do this and once that happens it's all over yeah. but making them decide that is the yeah. fucking hardest like especially if someone's so dug into that way yeah. Or just doesn't know. Like where it's like, um it's kinda weird where like you it's kinda hypocrisy of like you're belittling others for actions you do yourself. Yeah. It's yeah. like uh like oh society and people, it's like aren't you part of that? Aren't yeah. you the part of the thing? Like No, I'm the good one. You you're pushing yourself aside, like, yeah. Like you're the out like, And the frustrating part of it is when you do when you do have people who actively want to there's only so much an individual can do without yeah. the mass. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It was uh, it was the statement we made during the gorilla thing. I think I made, where uh, I was like, yeah, but I need money. Like I need, yeah. I need that dough, man. I need to, I need to pay rent. I need to like pay for food. I need to live. Right. Like, was just, was and just, it's a world so encompassed on that. A moral, you just need money. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I was just at, at Long Beach uh, University on the campus. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, I have to bring this up. Okay. I, I saw a sign by the library that made me laugh uh-huh. and then shudder and clench with just actual dread. Yeah. Just how horrible the fucking thing. Uh-huh. It was a, so it's a sign. It's the R.L. Stein Book Club is coming back together. Yes. Are we getting... <laughs> <laughs> Those goosebumps are so spooky. <laughs> Five Fear Street movies. Five? Five Fear Street movies. Five? I thought it was three. Five of them! (laughs) Five of... Anyway. That's like... Oh, I thought that was it. That's not just calling out... That's not just calling out I'm going to make a home run or a grand slam anymore. (laughs) That calls out... That's calling out I'm going to... I'm going to hit and pinch a perfect season. Yeah. Like... (laughs) It's walking out the first day pointing... Perfect season. <laughs> uh, so it's a sign that it was uh, in front of the library uh, talking about, uh, has a smiling student okay. carrying his textbooks. Hey, having a hard time paying for your textbooks? Yes, I am. Uh, hypothetical Thank sign. Thank you, sign. Thank you, sign. <laughs> the, then the sign goes on, the bottom half of the sign it says, um, sell your plasma. Fuck. That is the darkest. That's so dark. That's the fucking Damn. darkest I, I fucking can... modest proposal. <laughs> s- yeah. Ah! 
God damn it. I try to like, keep... Not, not even your blood, man. Your, your plasma. plasma. I try to keep That's my That's the one where you have to stay in there for three hours, by the way, if no one's ever, like, yeah. donated plasma. I always feel like... Um, I found out I can't. Yeah. Oh, you like, can't? Like, I tried once, yeah. Yeah, you can't. Uh, my blood type is not What's your desired. Blood? What's your blood type? Say it on air. <laughs> plasma. I don't want to say it on air. <laughs> but I know for a fact my blood, at least what I was told by several doctors... My blood type is not what they want. Okay. For plasma. You know, I so, try to. Uh, so I tried people, but <laughs> it's I was not worried about that um, sometimes I come across you know, trying too hard. Mm-hmm. But well, but that thing was is too perfect that I just I can't. It's it's that's perfect. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's that's so. Who wrote that? Like. <laughs> a sociopath <laughs> fucking wrote that. Is who wrote that? Wow. Hey. Having a hard time eating? Why not sell your babies? <laughs> sell them <Hey>. kids. <laughs> You're you not ever you... thought about working the corner? <laughs> <laughs> for that next you don't uh, You don't need two kidneys, right? <laughs> Come on, don't be a bitch oh, about it. Oh, these millennials. Oh. You know these younger people? They you think... know kidneys don't cost as much as they used to anymore. They really don't. Yeah, yeah, markets... Selling them's like not. Market's really... flooded. Yeah. Market's flooded with kidneys. I actually found it. <laughs> I was like. Not that I was looking into it, and I thought it would set me for life, but... Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you, you had, like, a new penis. Yeah. You know, the marketing for for uh, f- buying human skeletons? Weirdly expensive for the, for the amount of skeletons. That cost of man <laughs> needs to balance out. Yeah. So, yeah, so... I was... So, no, that's just fucking terrifying that's to crazy. me. crazy. That we've, yeah. hit, we've hit a part of society, a part of, of uh, business, mm-hmm. of capital and things like that where it's like well you don't got money literally sell parts of yourself yeah we're making an and we're saying that to what freshmen mm-hmm. to 18 year olds who yeah. are just coming into school like yeah it's normal this is how bad it is yeah yeah just normal just drain your body of fluids yeah. and we're, give it to we're rich we're old people this. we're we're coming up on the who was it was it was it um uh, Jean Luc Picard, because I can never remember his real name. Uh, Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart. <laughs> You're right about Jean Luc Picard because uh, <laughs> I only know the dumb shit about Star Trek. I never know like the actual like. <laughs> I just know that scene. What's that one show where Patrick Stewart shoots at his garden? Oh shit! He's fucking up my lilies and he shoots the uh, he shoots the gun. Yes, the I know. I know what you're talking about. Um, so sorry. Go he ahead. He was in a movie. He was in a movie where. Ryan, it was him and Ryan Reynolds, I think. Okay. I think. Tell me if this sounds right. Him and Ryan Reynolds, and he's an old rich guy who buys the body of a poor man uh-huh. so that the man can pay off his family's debts. I don't. Know and then they like right. put his brain in a young man's body, and Patrick Stewart. Get out. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you're talking about Get Out? No, no, no. But it's similar. It's to a, Get Out. It's a similar premise, except for it's like a part of a post-apocalypse or like a nightmare capital future okay. wherein okay. the rich can buy poor people's bodies well the yeah. poor can sell their bodies I like a weird answer to, to that concept okay oh okay. wait no are you oh that? well no the, then the premise of the film is that you oh yeah kind of get out in that you can't totally get rid of it okay. and so Ryan Reynolds like sad life is seeping in and Fun. Jean-Luc is like I don't care about pores <laughs> <laughs> okay so I've talked have a, I think I've talked about on podcast before. Uh, they proved that in just injecting blood, use useful blood in from mice into older mice invigorates rejuvenates them. them. Yeah. Not only that, it reverses some like deterioration at some in some cases. Mm-hmm. That is just like two or three steps away from us doing uh, having the rich buy out poor and oh, hanging yeah. them upside down as in Mad Max. As blood bags. Blood bag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. So much. <laughs> blood bag on just, car. Just a rich guy. Blood bag on car. Blood bag on car. Fuck it. That, that also the rich not only have done this, but they've become post-verbal. Like they just can't be bothered to speak in whole sentences. <laughs> <laughs> We're so close to doing that. I, for one, am willing to buy a young person so I can enjoy it. <laughs> see, you, you see yourself, it's like the Mad Max thing. You see yourself on the bike. You don't see yourself as the person strapped onto the bike. No, no, no. You don't see yourself with a weird, like, muzzle on yeah. your, and on top of a, a, 
Oh my god, it's such a. You gotta watch Rick and Morty, Chris. But uh, you're gonna be the blood, Chris. You're gonna be the blood bank. Yeah. There's no way. Did you ever it. watch? Um. Oh my god, uh, Flip Flappers, the anime. I did see some of Flip Flappers. I, 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 okay. I, but I, yeah. You would do yourself. You should do yourself a favor and watch all of them, because right. a lot of them are references to literary works. Oh really? Movies, oh yeah. Such as a Mad Max episode, what? which is the best fucking episode it is. in the entire thing. Uh, so yeah, watch it. Um. Yeah, so what are we talking about for? So P five, yeah, it's like yeah. it's it's one of those things where yeah, what do we do? Like, uh, and they're luckily these people, and it's the same superhero thing. These our heroes are granted a certain power, mm-hmm. and they use it for better. But we can still do something, and that's why I think the ending to P five, or at least right when you're in jail, is so emotionally impactful because all the now when all the powers are gone. When everything is just the real world, yeah, you can still do it. You just need like a bunch of people to help out. Like, you need you need some friends. You need you guys need to work together, and they do it. Yeah, and it's fucking awesome. It's so satisfying. That's why I think it's perfect. It's it's the big scale what we want and what we what would actually fix stuff. Yeah, how do we fucking start? Well, here's the thing that we do. Yeah, we work together for a single cause Mm -hmm. and it's all emotion it's no none of it's for a selfish reason it's all emotionally driven um there's that really cool scene of uh, mishima the guy who's been running your fan site Mm -hmm. is out in the public getting signatures and uh no one's fucking signing and it's to the point where he's like tearing up uh and he's and that final line he has in the game is it's for my friend i need this i need this sign this sign and it's so fucking good. Like, ah, oh, fuck. Dude, like, it's so... It's, yeah, you gotta start out small. That's the only way to do it. Mm-hmm. And you do need to work with people. You gotta go, you know, with your circle, yeah. then your community, then your city, then your state, yeah. then the world, then the, world. Then the universe. Then God! <laughs> then you shoot God in the face. Yeah. Then you shoot God in the face and walk backwards into hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's so, it's such a good follow up to that final boss fight. Like, yeah, the like thematically, it's perfect. It's so good. Uh, it's, beautiful. it's beautiful. Yeah, it's so well done. Um, yeah. No. So any any other any other themes? I, think, I feel like that's the biggest one. But I yeah. feel like that was like the crowning yeah. jewel of it was. You have to. It's it's this world is about cooperation, and mm-hmm. if you want anything to be improved. It takes taking risk, mm-hmm. trying new things, and working with others, and gaining, earning their trust, and having their trust. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, you have to get to know them as people. Yeah. You can't just say, okay, you're part of my crew now. You have to work with them. Here's why I'm great. Yeah. Now just do what I tell you. Yeah, you yeah. can't do that. That's what leads to all this yeah. stuff. Um, you have to uh, put a human face to it. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> to not quote, well, to not, I'm kind of gonna spoil the end of Dictator's Handbook, but like, this is actually the end of that. Wait, is book. it a narrative? I thought no, it was not just really. Silent. It's like the whole, it's the whole thing of like it has, um, it has the theme and it has like what they're trying to get across. Okay. Uh, they and have a message. The yeah. Okay. It's one of those. Um, like it, it's not, it's not the message itself. It's kind of. Well, like, it's more of a think piece. I think you're fine. In yeah. It's, really, piece. it's so. kind of like he. They said that out of like all these decades of working with leaders in different places at the end of the day it, I think Mesquita said power may be corruption but without power you cannot change anything not even yourself mm. Mm. so he yeah. said that, that's the dilemma the overall dilemma I yeah. mean uh, let me let me amend slightly the thing I said and yeah. add change of the most meaningful kind has to come inside mm-hmm. first yeah you want to you want to make something better make yourself better yeah and also acknowledge that better is always a horizon goal it's yeah. always shifting and slightly well you can never reach perfection yeah that exactly the there's always going to be something wrong so that comes down to you got to focus on yourself mm-hmm. get yourself in a good place look at others around you work yeah. together bigger and bigger picture mm-hmm. yeah yeah I mean, that's really the theme yeah, of that's, Persona? <laughs> so. Yeah, that's what it seems to be. At least for 
Seven out of five. Um, yeah, I think they hit the. They really nailed it with that. Yeah. Yeah, they're crushing. There's also a great video, great pair of videos by uh, the guys at Arcadia on YouTube. Oh, okay. I recommend everyone go check them out. Uh, Volcano Eruption does um, his own Persona Five thing, and I think he's right. Also, at the same time, it's about like the game for the social outcast is what he called it. Oh yeah. And I think mm-hmm. he's completely right. All these characters are. A social outcast of some sort mm-hmm. they've all in some way society has affected them yeah. um so i think everyone should go get his video checked out okay yeah. so speaking of that we can end it with a little bit couple more fun stuff okay uh mm-hmm. like who are some of your favorite confidants that you guys saw some of your favorite characters mm, one of my favorite uh like um one of my favorite characters that we that you battle in uh-huh. the game I just love in the first level the little pumpkin guys, the little scarecrow. Oh, the little they're they're literally called uh, jack o' lanterns. Yeah, I love yeah. them. Yeah. I love oh them. no, pyro jacks. I'm sorry, pyro jacks. Yeah, and um, well, because they're part of a set trio of jacks in the Atlas like yeah. games. Okay. There's uh oh, I'm sorry, like four technically. Yeah, technically. Um, there's pyro jack. There's um, oh my god, why am I forgetting the Jack fucking Frost? Jack Frost. There's King Frost, Jack who is like, King. yeah, Jack me off, <laughs> Jack me off, mm-hmm. uh, and Black Frost. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, okay. Black Frost is actually one of the best personas like in the game too. Oh, cool. Uh, no, they're all really strong. Yeah, uh, but what about like confidants, like you know the friends that he meets? Mm, up with? I mean, any of them stand out to you besides the reporter? Besides the reporter, who reminds us too much of our future selves? Fuck. I mean, I I I just love. Uh, Blondie, he's, not me. He's such a Ryuji. really. No, what? No, I'm not gonna, not gonna be like fat. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he's just. A, he's. A, he's. I think that he's for the most of the story. Yeah. He. He seems like this kind of friend I want to have. Yeah. Someone who's full of energy, ready to, yeah. ready to just go at it. He's got problems, man, but you know he's like he's, he's good at heart. He's yeah. ready to work at it. Yeah, yeah, he really is. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the other confidence. Uh, that stood out to me, I guess, would be uh, the neat girl who who's getting better. Uh, Futawa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she, her whole arc is great, and her, her all little like, her, yeah. just you, her mother, you and your friends all supporting her and like trying to help her out with what she wants. Yeah, Yoshi was a hero, diet the diet member. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for a politician as okay. Mm-hmm. Yoshida, fucking hero. He's, uh, he's, like, it's weird, because he's doing what the game tells you, like, what the theme is. Yes. In his own thing. Yeah. He is an ex-politician, well, he is still a politician, but he was on the diet for a very small time, mm-hmm. and he became very corrupted there, kind of unwillingly, but he also, at the same time, said, I knew what I was doing. Yeah. At the same time, I was just too young to realize that this isn't the right way. Mm-hmm. Um... And now he's working street level, trying to fix it. And people yeah. are like, fuck you, no good, Cheetah. And like, uh, like... They call him no good. Yeah, yeah, they call him no good. And it's and he still powers through it. Yeah. Um, and even when he's given chances to like get back in there as he's starting to gain traction, he denies it because he wants to do it yeah. his way. Um, and he introduces you to the idea of everyone... A politician needs a good ideal to stand by. Yeah. Like, and his thing is, he wants the youth of today to have, a, like, to have an actual chance in the future. Yeah. Uh, and it's just so, like, every time it was on screen, I was smiling. I thought his, he's such a good guy. He's trying. He really is. He knew he's fixing his life at such a late stage, like, of his life. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's starting to slowly do it. And once you find, and I think he has the most satisfying one out of all the endings, uh, in my opinion, for confidants. You just get him giving his final speech uh, yeah. before election day, and it's this crowd of people like just listening as it pans out. And I like choked up a little bit. I went, did it? We did it. <laughs> we got did, it. Did we talk about it for me? If me, oh the the go, the one place in church, the go. Oh the go. Oh yes. Yeah. She's good too. She's. Because hers is also something that oh, I think young people, could, I think the youth of today. The youth of today. <laughs> I think it's really going to hit demos. Well, because she's like, I actually don't like show. No, I don't want to do. 
so she finds out her mother's been paying off people to lose her at Shogi. Yeah. Because uh, she's trying to make, if we mean not the best Shogi player, but an idol. Like a Shogi to make her, to live her dreams vicariously through her. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to, I want to win on my own accord. Right. I like the game. Yeah. Um, so it's her again trying to just break away from parents stuff. That's uh, that's one of my friends, the same guy who said Anne because she a hottie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is the exact text? I got her. You mean me? No, yeah, <laughs> okay. you, yeah. That's why I said in the beginning, she a hottie. She a hottie. Yeah. Uh, I didn't say it'd be creepy. Hifumi, okay. Hifumi's a second. <laughs> and she's cool. She's, she's definitely cool. Um, yeah. yeah well, uh, who else? Uh, what do you think about Fortune Teller? Oh, she was cool. Yeah, she was I hard. really like Fortune Teller. Yeah. Just, uh, it's it's sort of like Kawakami in the sense that uh, I'm stuck in this thing mm. and I don't know what to do. Yeah. Um, Shoujiro is a hero. Sojiro is your yeah. Sojiro takes care of this kid. He's not. Oh my god, he does it twice in his life. He takes care of Futaba because uh, he was friends with her mom mm-hmm. when she was uh, killed. Um, it's doing everything to fight, take custody of her because the other family was just abusive to her or yeah. treated her or just was not loving treating her, her yeah, or loving her. in any way. Yeah. Um, and then he also takes you in. Because someone at the cafe mentioned they had a relative who was who happens to be your mom, yeah. and like takes you in for that. Like, what a fucking like just super nice thing yeah. to do. Uh, I don't even care. He treats you like shit for the first half because I'd be like, I mean, so much of his dialogue is, you can be out on the street, yeah. out on your ass, out on your ass. You better fucking yeah. <laughs> fix your shit together. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, man, you gave me, you gave me, uh, you gave me a pretty big room, and yeah. like, teach me how to cook and shit. There's a like, and you barely know me. Yeah, you know what? Okay, you're a cool guy. Cool guy. GG. Also, it's a, uh, it's implied that he's got like, he just taught, he's just a womanizer, like mm-hmm. always on the yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Oh, At I least... never. Uh, there's that. What's that fucking line? Uh, I never. I I make it a point never to put uh, a male's phone number in my phone. Yeah. I'm like, no. damn, that's. That's a that's a new level that I haven't seen. Yeah. Um, plus he rocks that hat, man. Oh sure. Yeah. <laughs> He's a cool guy. He's really cool. Um, yeah. I have to fully finish his confidant ring. I'm I'm currently doing new game plus for it. Try to get it all. Cool. Um, but yeah. Uh, Did we cover everything? Uh, that's yeah, pretty much. I think we hit all the yeah. beats. Fuck, dude. Next Sorry. game is great. It's uh, all right. Yeah, it's fine. I've said it before. Um, like, well, I've said I've had this conversation with Nick. This game is probably my game of the year, and has oh, okay. kind of ruined me on RPGs or JRPGs for a while because, like, this one does everything so fucking well. Yeah. That I kind of just don't even want to do one that's even like an eight out of ten or something right, like right, that. Because yeah. this one to me is like ten on ten, even though it's got problems. It's fucking still it's so good um yeah i remember by the end when the credits were rolling at the end i just there's nothing else to say really yeah Yeah. i was getting choked up like there's that Mm -hmm. it was such a it was cathartic like after that yeah it's just full catharsis like it was great um i if you listen to this and you didn't play the game which is crazy but i do know some people do that yeah just see if it's worth your time i highly recommend this game uh, I, I don't play games, and I would say it yeah. seems really fun. It's so it's so worth people's time. Luckily, there's a mode where it's called um, it's like not easy easy mode. I think it's called safe mode or something like that, where the battles don't even matter. You just kind of go through oh. the story of it. So if you want to do that, if you want to just turn it into a pure visual novel, you can do that. Okay. Um. So that's also an option. Uh, but yeah, fuck, dude, this game is so good. So then, on that note, there are there is news for P five, uh-huh. some which broke as a couple days ago. As of this recording, I'm probably gonna release this in like a week or so. Um, as like a little bonus thing. Um, uh, Persona five is getting an anime, uh, which kind of like duh because Persona four got one. Yeah. <laughs> and also, they had an OVA for Persona five very recently. Okay. I never watched it. I should probably watch it. Yeah. Now uh, I heard it's nothing. But oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I hope it's good. Uh, I really want them to choose Kawakami 
as the main thing because I think that would be the weirdest one <laughs> to explore. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> I, I know they won't, but it would be fucking hilarious. It'd be amazing. Yeah. Um, and then as of today, two games were announced that are spinoffs for Persona. Nick, do you even want to guess? Do you want to? I, I want to see if you can nail it. Is it a new Ultima? Is it a new arena? Oh, I'm sorry. There's three games. No. None of them are arenas. No. Oh. Two of them are essentially the same game. I'll just say that. Um. I. This is the Blaze Blue Cross Battle thing. No. Okay. Oh no, it's for five. It's this is five. Yeah, five. Yeah, I'll give you one more. Is it? A You're gonna be so bad if you don't get it. Bible Black. <laughs> no, Why? it isn't that. You wasted your guess on that. Okay, no, Persona Five dancing all night. What? <laughs> oh, or you're. Right. <laughs> night. I feel so shitty for giving Persona up. Three dancing Moon Knight. Wow. Yeah. So they're dancing games, like just like Persona Four dancing all night, and Persona Q Two. Okay. Okay. Well, Q Two <laughs> makes sense my head man so I'm gonna do the same thing I did with I, you know what no I learned I was gonna no I haven't I'll probably buy the collector's edition for them just to have <laughs> just to have the stuff okay um uh but the best things will be the music because all the side stories and all the spinoffs have been like kind of actually degraded the mainline stories mm. a little bit um I'll listen to it for the music uh yeah, so that's the big news that, <laughs> that's that's a, to really date this recording. Wow. Let's let's get right in there. Yeah, that was announced today. I I feel bad for giving a shitty joke answer. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, last thing, favorite favorite songs. Oh, oh fuck! Uh, you don't have to know the name. Just tell me the moment. I can probably tell you what it. Um, I'm listening to soundtrack. Well, uh, Nick, you can go there. I would say. Favorite. I mean, it's tough. They're all so good. Uh, yeah, did we just go for Rivers in the Desert? Like, <laughs> rivers in the Desert. Let's all say Rivers Let's in the Desert. Let's all say Rivers in the no, Desert. No, Beneath the Mask, I think. Oh, Beneath fantastic. the Mask, is, that's the night one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that one's funny. That one. that one I sing along. Dude, I sing along to all. As long as they say, come on. That and uh, Wheels of Fate. Yeah. That one. Which one is that? The Casino. That's oh, the Casino yeah, yeah. one. That one. You know what? I want that one. I'm stealing <laughs> his answer. Okay, okay. okay. That's so yeah, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, Makoto's best girl. <laughs> I'm glad we got to do this. Thank you guys for indulging Absolutely. me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad you all enjoyed it too, like yeah. I did. Love it. Uh, I want to do another thing like this with another game, but I'm going to talk to you guys about that on a side note. Okay. But that's okay. a little bit of teaser for this game, for this thing. All right. Sucked.
lost to the bosses of greed and fear yeah. Don't ask why I'm ready, but I'm ready to take them down now The platform new star is constantly drawing nearer 